I'm a little worried. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, thanks for your support. <laughs> I'm a little worried. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know if you're aware of this, but uh, Jeff is uh, undergoing some uh, repairs at the moment, so we are trying out various different personality chips for the next two weeks. So uh, Jeff uh, will not necessarily be his normal self tonight. Is that right, Jeff? That's absolutely right, yes. I see. Uh, Jeff, this evening you seem to be sort of English. Yes, I, I, I picked up the E-chip from the E-file. <laughs> To, how did you manage to pick it up, Jeff, using your one arm that only goes up and down that much? It's a very small file. Uh, it'd have to be a very small file that was right there. Yes. I see. So you're English, uh, you, but you have no emotions or you have emotions? No, I'm English. It speaks for itself. I see. <laughs> so, given that... Given that you uh, have no emotions, uh, oh, English, uh, sexually repressed? No. It's only sexual harassment if the robot isn't cute. <laughs> wait, wait. Is your mouth working all right? I'm slightly, I'm slightly concerned we're in a badly dubbed Jackie Chan movie right now. I'm breaking in a new boy. <laughs> Did you just think that and I heard it? Oh, you heard it. <laughs> All right, uh, join us after uh, this with new English Jeff. <laughs> Do you follow the sex scandals, English Jeff? Always. <laughs> you do? You, <laughs> you do? What, what, do, do, you, do you, you follow them in the newspaper? You still read the newspapers, I, I Of course, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you read English newspapers or American newspapers? Does it matter? <laughs> Of course it matters. How are you going to get the latest news on the Kardashians from an English newspaper? They know oh, nothing. The Kardashians are all over the place. <laughs> really? Yes. So they have the Kardashians in England? Yes. I see. How do you feel about that? I don't. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm a robot. <laughs> yes, I, I'm familiar with what you are. I'm just, I, I thought you might have some kind of emotion. You have no emotions at all? No. <laughs> You managed to say that without moving your mouth, I see. Yeah. I'm economising. Oh, you're economising, are you? Yeah, yeah. Economy of movement, that's what makes you a great actor, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I see. He's proving me right. I'm Jeff, still economising. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, I know. Like, listen, normally uh, what we do at this point in the show, you probably don't know this because of the chip you've got in at the moment, but normally, Jeff, you, will uh, introduce the commercial break. Do you feel up to that? Absolutely. Right, well, just look over here as opposed to the place where you're looking over there. <laughs> look, look over here, Jeff, and then just, you know, introduce the commercial break in whatever way you feel comfortable doing. No. <laughs> Don't forget to come back after the commercial break. Yes, that's great! Tonight, there's uh, it's the usual, but the, but we're trying out different personality chips on Jeff, and things are going great so far. Are you ready, Jeff? Yes, that's good. That's what regular Jeff does. I, I'm a little flummoxed. I've never... Regular Jeff has never been able to hit the high notes. Well, maybe... Has he been replaced by Croatian Jeff? No, that's jive talk in England. Oh! <laughs> jive talk in England? Say it again! <laughs> It sounds a tiny bit... It's not bit... worth the scrutiny, Craig. No! <laughs> I'm just 
<laughs> it sounds... <laughs> it sounds a tiny You've bit... You've got much better things to do. All right, all right. All right, well, you know what time it is, don't you? Yes, it's time for emails and tweets. Yes, that's exactly right. Do the thing. This is uh, from Chuck in Tulsa, Oklahoma. You ever been to Tulsa, Oklahoma? I've never been to Tulsa, Oklahoma, no. <laughs> you say that like you've been to another Tulsa that wasn't in Oklahoma. No, Tulsa, it sounds like some sort of skin rash. Um, that's a completely different place. Have you ever been to Skin Rash, Oklahoma? <laughs> <laughs> You're right there. No, that made me smile inwardly. Oh, I see. Yeah, that, that doesn't help that much. Uh... All right, this is from Chuck. He says, uh, Hi, Craig and Jeff. My wife and I are looking to buy a pet, and we can only afford one. She wants a cat. I want a dog. How can we compromise? Jeff, cat or a dog person? What do you think? Dog, every time. Really? What yes. kind of dog do you like? One with four legs. <laughs> And you don't like cats at all, or you just like them slightly less than dogs? I find cats... impulsive. <laughs> you can trust a dog. Well, it depends. What, you trust it to do what? You can't, you can't trust it to drive your kids to school. No, but it can fetch and carry. And a cat won't? No. What'll a cat do, then? Ever tried telling a cat what to do? Yeah. Liar. <laughs> Ever been to Skin Rash, Oklahoma? Have you? In a way. <laughs> I, I feel a certain tension between us. Can't be some slack, it's my first day. No, all right, yeah, fair enough. All right, this is from uh, Adrian in Chattanooga, Tennessee. You ever been to Tennessee? You got a little place there like to go swim and get naked and throw pizza people? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. a southern thing, isn't it? What, getting naked and throwing beads at people? Yes, I understand. No, no, no. It, it's a people thing, man. Mm. People like to get naked and throw beads at people and go swimming. I can't go swimming. Oh, yeah, of course. Sorry about that. My bolts would rust. You'd, you'd look like you were in Skin Rash, Oklahoma. <laughs> This is kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, Craig, I'm Jeff. I'm a typical American kid. Gee willikers, that's great for you. <laughs> My parents just got a job in Brussels, and I have to move there with them. Any tips on how to adjust over there? Well, are you in luck? We have a European chip in Jeff for this very purpose. Jeff, how would a young American kid fit in in Belgium? Not very well. I see. <laughs> CBS cares. <laughs> This is from Bjorn in Reykjavik, Iceland. Hello. I didn't know we went out in Reykjavik, Iceland. That's... Oh, on the computer. They have a computer in Iceland? <laughs> have you ever been to Iceland? No. I feel I'm keeping you from something, Jack. <laughs> I'm bolted to this podium. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's right. Um... Is that code? I'm bolted to this podium? <laughs> Dear Craig, uh, we are glad that you mentioned our beloved city and country whenever you introduce the big cash prize. That's two. Why? What made you choose us? Oh, wow, you speaking for the entire country of Iceland? <laughs> I chose you because one reason. Sigur Ross. A great band full of lovely tweety noises. <laughs> Have you ever heard Sigur Ross from Iceland? I love them. Oh, they're great, aren't they? The tweety beety beep. Come on, sing with me, Jeff. Nothing like them. They're good, though, aren't they? Marvelous. Yeah. <laughs> this is from Katie in Buffalo, New York. Ever been to Buffalo, New York? Got yes, Buffalo. It's my favorite place. Oh, finally! That's great. Buffalo, you say? Why, why, why Buffalo? What do you like about Buffalo? The weather? The delicious wings? I was assembled in Buffalo. <laughs> oh, 
Well, I think we've all been assembled in Buffalo. I was assembled in Skin Rash, Oklahoma. No, I thought you were from San Francisco. Oh, well, I, I moved there, but my bits and pieces were put together in Buffalo. <laughs> you must have gone to the same bar I did. There, anyway. Katie in Buffalo says, Dear Craig and Jeff, my fiancé and I are planning our honeymoon trip. Any suggestions on a romantic place where we can consummate our marriage? <laughs> Jeff! Where should Hotel you... Six, perhaps? I was thinking more of something you remember for a long time. What about a dumpster? <laughs> How dare you go, ah! Uh... <laughs> I didn't really mean a dumpster. I know the perfect place. Skin Rush, Oklahoma! <laughs> yeah. This is from Amy in Grants Pass, Oregon. You ever been there? No. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Hi, Craig and Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> Perhaps my chip's been replaced. <laughs> Hi, Craig and Jeff. My blind date tomorrow night is at an Indian food restaurant. <laughs> Anything I should avoid? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> huh? Everything. Everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you probably. Uh, no. Uh, the thing. I love Indian food. I do. Do you like Indian food? Yes. <laughs> Really? What's your favourite Indian food to eat, skeleton robot? Rogangosht. With a vindaloo sauce. Smeared all over me. Yeah, you, you probably want to avoid smearing yourself with a vindaloo sauce or you really will end up in Skin Rash, Oklahoma. <laughs> All right, this is from Josh in Springfield, uh, Massachusetts, who says, uh, Hey, Craig and Jeff, I like the saying, an oldie but a goodie. Can you please work that into the show? <laughs> well, I think that's... Uh... <laughs> I, I, that's kind of an... Oh, oh. An opening? No, not an opening! That's an old... Oldie... <laughs> but a... Oh, but a goodie. <laughs> It's fun to watch a grown man sweat. <laughs> Even if it's not porn. Uh, this is from John in San Diego, California. He says, hi, Craig and Jeff. My girlfriend likes us both to wear high heels while we're having sex. Hello! Is this weird? No, sir! It's awesome! Uh, this is from Mimi in Denver, Colorado. Ever been to Denver, Colorado? Yes, I have. Oh, do you enjoy it? I loved it. Oh, that's nice. Do you like the high altitude... Fun? I was in a boot of a car at the time. Ah. A boot, you say? That's what we call in America the trunk of a car. Oh, yes. Forgive me. I do know you, you like it in the trunk, though, don't you? I like it in the trunk. Yeah. This is from Mimi in Denver, Colorado. <laughs> oh, that did well, didn't it? Yeah, is that just reaching you now, is it? Dear GP in the Ferrex, uh, that's you and me. Uh, my fiancé's mom speaks Russian. Should I learn to speak it to know what she's talking about? <laughs> Seems a bit extreme. Do you speak Russian, Jeff? Duh. I see. Anything else? Spasiba. No, I got nothing. <laughs> oh, that amuses you, does it? Well, Jeff, we did well. Uh, throw it to the commercial break. I think we'll be fine. Don't forget to come back. <laughs> no. Thank you. No, you Welcome back. We'll just be a minute. You're doing great. Just, I want you to just try and loosen up a little more. Just uh, move the arm up and down a little more. Yes, yeah. up and down, up and down. Uh, up, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Try and move your mouth at the same time as you're talking. Yes, 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 yes. Right, right, right. Yes, yes, yes. Right, and, and that's pretty much yes. it. You could try moving your head from side to side. Side to side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and talk, talk and move your head. Talk and move my head. Whoa, yes! Very, very good. I don't think I can do that. It's almost like I read your thoughts. <laughs> my next guest is... Oh. Hi, 
can't tell you. I can't tell you how pleasant it is to have an American Jeff sitting in front oh, of me. Oh, but I can't have him liking the new English Jeff. Well, it's not. It's just for one night. It's just for one night. We're trying out different things. Just for one night. He's hip on the Kardashians. I mean, yeah, what yeah. more do you? What more do you need? Do you? Are you hip on the Kardashians? Well, I am now, thanks to Jeff. No. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? Yeah! <laughs> well. How do you think it went? I think it went very well. I think it went very well too. I was very, I was, I was, uh, you know, I was cautious at first. I was a little scared. Were you? Well, I was because I thought, you know, the tension between Scotland and England that would somehow manifest itself, you know, here in the new world. <laughs> Both. Wait a minute. That sounds an awful lot like old Jeff in there. I suppose there's still some Jeff floating around, is there? Yes, there's some little bits of Jeff inside. <laughs> I'm picking it up on my chip. I see. Well, we call them in the States fries. <laughs> <laughs> see what I did? See what I did there? Have you been in America long? No, not long. Mm. Long enough to be dubbed, I see. Yes. But I've learned something tonight. Have you? I've learned some new words. Yes, what are they? Boner. <laughs> Nipple. Nipple's a new word? Yes. I have none. Well, that Lesbian. Lesbian? Oh, well, there's, there's... Yeah, well. It's a lesbian role right there. That's what they said. That's what they said when they come here. They're... Born of guests. Is that near Skin Rash, Oklahoma? No, no, no. It, well, it depends on the individual lesbian involved, but I... I think that Skin Rash probably is... I bet you, I'll bet you there's a town in the United States called Skin Rash. Oh, I'm sure there is. Yes, yes, and I'll bet you that town has got a mayor. <laughs> mayor Scratchit of Skin Rash, Oklahoma? Mayor Scratch... <laughs> and I bet you Mayor Scratchit of Skin Rash, Oklahoma is going to get in touch with us. And he's going to say, why don't you bring the show to Skin Rash, o Oklahoma? And we'll say, well, in a way, we've always really been there. <laughs> right, Jeff? Absolutely right. You did a fantastic job, buddy. Thank you so much. Take May I call you Craig? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. <laughs> Thank you, English Jeff. Say good night to the folks. Good night, everyone. Good night. Sometimes I feel like I don't know who you're going to be from one day to the next. Sexy, though, isn't it? Well, I wouldn't deny it doesn't have a certain allure. Every time I see you, you've got a slightly different personality. I, for the next, you know, two weeks or so, yeah. it's as if you go home to a different wife every night. <laughs> different robot every day, different wife at night. Well, that's like a... It's like a dream, that, isn't it? No, no, it'd be awful. I'll want the same wife every night. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, baby. <laughs> what the hell are you doing, man? Sorry about that. We were in, a, we were in a private conversation, and then you suddenly say it in front of ten viewers? Sorry about that. What the hell? Oops. Look at me when I'm talking to you. <laughs> Thank you. You intimidate me. I intimidate you? Yeah, it's your eyes. You're a reanimated dead skeleton with poppy out blue eyes. I'm I'm just a creepy foreigner. How could I But if I did anything threatening towards you, all you need to do is move half a feet away and there's nothing I can do. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Well, let's try it out. Come on then. Right, put him up, you jerk. Alright, let's have it. Come on. I'll bite your legs off. No, no, you won't. No. No, you won't. I would just unplug you. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> that's actually code. Hello. <laughs> Say hello again. Hello. <laughs> Got it a second you, time. You're not, you're not good with the two-syllable words, are you? No, I'm terrible with two-syllable words. <laughs> Example. How are, how are you with longer words? What, like anti-disestablishmentarianism? <laughs> Did you really say that, or did I just think it? I think it's that weed again, isn't it? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Well, I think it's going to be a weird one tonight. <laughs> hey, uh, so, Jeff, who are you tonight, the uh, new chip? Well, I'm still me. <laughs> yeah, I know you're still you, but you sound different again. You sound really? How do, how do I sound different? <laughs> you sound kind of, uh, well, last... Sexier. Week. Sexier? Well, I don't know. Uh... More athletic. <laughs> More Someone who'd do something in the bedroom that would be kind of gymnastic. <laughs> do I sound like that? Well, well, how could you be gymnastic? Only one of your arms moves. <laughs> moves in a very gymnastic way, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, uh, that in-flight porn, that might work for you. Uh, do, uh, do the uh, captain and the co-pilot get a chance to watch the porn, or is that prohibited? Well, it depends, uh, I suppose, on whether there's an autopilot or not. Yeah, it'd probably be a nightmare when they're landing, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, you, you, you'd probably want to be in cruise, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Your mouth seems to be working uh, much better in conjunction with your voice tonight than it was last night. Yeah, we fired the guy from... Oh, no, see that! <laughs> that was just you thinking what I was saying. Wait, was I thinking what you were saying, or was I hearing what you were thinking? Excellent point. Who's been, smo who's what? been smoking tonight, me or you? Well, it wasn't me, because I was down at the Criminal Justice Centre all day. Or maybe I just thought I was smoking. That's pretty some strong stuff if you just thought you were smoking it. <laughs> hey, uh, have you ever been, have you ever done jury duty? No, I've never done jury duty because, as you know, I don't have a heart, do I? <laughs> you don't have to have a heart to do, there are lawyers down there, you think any of them have got a heart? <laughs> oh, no. I kind, of, I kind of gave you that one, didn't I? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. You want to do the, uh... Oh, yeah, let's do it. Well, you see, you just thought it again. I'm going to have to get a new guy in. You've said that before, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll do the thing then. We'll do it with the commercial break, right? right you yeah. announce the commercial break over there. Ready? Yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, now would be an excellent time to go to the bathroom. But if you do go to the bathroom, wash your hands, you filthy humans. <laughs> people who also were at court today. <laughs> Laugh or you're going back there. <laughs> you ready, Jeff? I like it. Nice touch. What time would it be, Jeffrey Peters? It's time for Eats and Twee Mails, sponsored by the National Mispronunciation Society, or the S... <laughs> or the SNPN, as it's known. <laughs> hey, Jeff, you want to get tweeted with me tonight? Well, all right! Hell to the bell, we're getting there soon. Drag me out of bed. Clearwater, Florida. You ever been to Clearwater, Florida? Got a little place there, like to go swim and get naked with people. What the hell, man? You usually join in there. Why the hell am I keep going to myself? Yeah. myself? I like alligators. They're from Florida, aren't they? Not all of them. There no, are not all of them. Not all of them. There are some alligators from Florida. There are alligators from um, other areas. Yes. Uh, they like it there, don't they? Because it's you know watery and warm. Well, it's watery and warm in other places too. True. And there are no alligators there, I hope. 
<laughs> I meant in my pants. Oh, uh, in your pants. Yeah, yeah, I missed yeah, that yeah. One. in my pants. That thing that you always used to say before. Yeah, you, you know, we've had we've had a new chip in, so in my pants is you know sometimes it comes and goes, you know. <laughs> It was a new catchphrase no, to me. No, no, oh, what happened? no! It comes and goes in oh, your in pants! pants. Yeah, oh. We'll get there, we'll get there eventually. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> give me time, give me time. I'm giving you time. In my pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, this is from Paul in Clearwater, Florida. It says, Dear Craig and Jeff, I am thinking about quitting my job in accounting and moving into a career in law enforcement. My wife's not too happy about it. Any tips on how to persuade her? Grow a moustache. <laughs> That's what women like. Grow a moustache and she'll be yours forever. Right, Jeff? Yeah, grow a moustache for Movember. It's Movember, isn't it? Do you know about Movember? No, what's Movember? Movember is uh, where men grow moustaches throughout November to uh, raise awareness about prostate cancer. <laughs> I, w I will be growing one. The hell? It's true, it's true. Is that the only way to do it? Isn't there another? Can't we do another one? What about having a, a march or a parade or a... Yeah, you could talk about it or, you know, write about it, but, I mean, I think it's a good idea to grow a moustache. Well, I don't... Moment. Whenever I see someone with a moustache, I don't go, ooh, that's right, I better have my prostate checked. That doesn't... <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Well, actually, now as I think about it... In a way, I suppose I sometimes think that. If it's Tom Selleck's moustache. I tried growing a moustache once here on the show and people were outraged. Well, what you do is, because you don't normally grow a moustache, when you've grown one throughout November, people go, oh, look at you, you've grown a moustache. And you go, yes, I've grown a moustache to commemorate. Well, not commemorate, but raise awareness of... <laughs> yeah, but wait, wait, but wait. Prostate. It takes me more than a month to grow a moustache. Really? Yes, I've got a very uh, feeble... Hair. Oh, you should rub your facial hair in whale sputum. <laughs> well, who's to say that I don't do that? It still doesn't grow very much. <laughs> Works for me. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it doesn't. You don't have a moustache. This is from Elizabeth in Green Bay, Wisconsin. You ever been to Green Bay, Wisconsin? Got a little place I like to go swimming? Love the cat. Love the Packers. <laughs> Cackers, which is what I originally said, but the Packers. No, I think, love the Cackers. As, uh, oh, I love fun. the Cackers. All right. Uh, hello, Craig and Jeff. I told my boyfriend he's put on a little weight. Too much for someone so short. <laughs> I think I crossed the line. Did I? You bet you did. Yeah. You might get shanked. <laughs> That's the kind of talk that I come out with now I've been down at the Criminal Justice Centre. Right, Jeff? you got a cold, steely glaze I have. tonight. I've got prison eyes. <laughs> Are you hiding a hacksaw in your bum? No! My pants! Oh, your pants, yeah! <laughs> Hell, man! Anyway, uh, the Mitch in Raleigh, North Carolina says, uh, Craig, my roommate has a new girl almost every night, and it's getting out of hand. How do I tell him to cool it? What? <laughs> I think that's called jealousy. Yeah, I think, that, I think that's exactly what that's called, Jeff. It's called jealousy. <laughs> I'm thinking of getting a spider web tattoo here. What do you think? Brilliant idea. Brilliant. Yeah, right up here. Now yeah. give me that real prison house look. Brilliant. Spider web tattoo up here, maybe a grenade here. And then I thought I would have eyes tattooed on my eyes. So that when I'm asleep, the other cons will think I'm still awake yeah. and be... And weary of me. They'll call you crazy eyes. Crazy famously. eyes. I'll be like, here comes crazy eyes. And I'll be like, yeah. <laughs> you have to imagine the crazy eyes painted on. Oh, I can imagine it, all right. Good. In my pants. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Well, you're a quick study. Uh, all right, I know we're out of time, so just one more, all right? One more, two more, three more. I'll just get through the lot of them then. We're out of time. I know. All right, this is from uh, Brett in Overland Park, Kansas. It says, hi, Craig and Jeff. I'm scheduled for jury duty next week. Any helpful tips? Yeah. Yeah, pretend to be Scottish. Get a spider web tattoo. Uh, this is from Pamela in Dover, Delaware. It says, dear Craig and Jeff, what do you do when you have the whole house to yourself? Jeff? Um, I like to just lie down and think about life. <laughs> is that code? Yeah. Okay. This is from Matt in Maple Grove, Minnesota. Hi, Craig. A woman in a parking lot asked me to drive her around to find her car. I asked her out afterwards and she said yes. Is this crazy? <laughs> Sounds a little weird, actually, yeah. What do you think? Well, I mean, I think there's different ways to find dates nowadays, and, you know, anytime We're you can think outside the box. trying to get through this box. quickly! I'm trying to speed 
kids read these things, you're like, well, I don't know. <laughs> they, I, if you think about it, come Look for on. A one word answer. A one word answer? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Craig and Jeff. In your relationship experience, do you think the opposites really attract or do there have to be some commonalities? Don't care. Uh, <laughs> this is from Tam in Melbourne, Australia. You ever been to Australia? Got a little place there like to go swimming? Never been, never been, never been, feel the never testicles, been, that kind been, of thing. <laughs> Uh, this is from Tam in Melbourne, Australia. Hi, Craig. One of my good friend's farewell parties is coming up soon. Do you have any ideas for a good gift on a budget? Jelly. <laughs> what are you there? Jello. <laughs> what? Jello. Yeah, that's a pretty good gift. How much, though? Well, how much Jello? Yeah. Litre. <laughs> yeah, you're in America now, buddy. Uh, six fluid ounces. <laughs> <laughs> That's not right. Oh. No. <laughs> All right, we've got to take a break. We'll be right back. Cash price. Ding, ding, you know, we ding, should have ding, some ding, music ding, for ding. that, shouldn't we? I'm so happy that robot did not say a single word during my segment. <laughs> I'm very shy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you say hi to Odd Jeff? Hi, Jeff. Hi, Larry. How are you? Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> the hell? Is there something going on I should know about you? We're old friends. Yeah. We've... We get together off camera. <laughs> it's none of anybody's business. All right, really. okay. Fair enough. <laughs> what did we learn on the show We learned uh, that uh, Jeff and uh, Lawrence Block are having a relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he um, he likes my naked patella. <laughs> Your what? My naked exposed patella. What's that? It's like an Italian dish. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that the one with the seafood? Yeah, yeah. yeah Squid yeah. ink. Squid ink? Yeah. I think that's I think that's Russian for finished. <laughs> Squidinko. Squidink. Oh, I didn't know you spoke Russian. Nah. <laughs> really? Any know any other Russian words? It's basically you just try and talk. Yeah, you just do that. Yeah, yeah. I know. I've been to Russia. That's what they like. If you just say, "I don't speak Russian," but they go, "That'll do. That'll be enough for us." It's like when you go to a different country. If you can't speak the language, do you know English in the accent that it sounds like when they speak it, and they understand you. <laughs> so, for example, you go to France, you go, Hello, it's very nice to be in France. They're like, Oh, it's like you are from here. I think, I think we've both learned a lot tonight, haven't we? Yes, we have. Will you take me home later? No. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. A lot of people say to me, Craig, please put your pants on. And I do. <laughs> and a lot of people have been asking me recently, they say, Craig, what's going on with Jeff? Something's going on with Jeff. We want old Jeff back. Look, old Jeff will be coming back. The thing is, the essential maintenance is being conducted on Jeff's innards. <laughs> and so every night for the next two weeks, he will have a different personality. It was a big hit in that show that's just been cancelled. That's right. <laughs> What's it called? I forget that one's called. Yes. For example, tonight Jeff seems to be gay in Spanish. <laughs> Los dos. Si. Lo mismo. I'm afraid I don't speak that. That was me saying yes to both of those things. I see. So tonight, Jeff, your personality takes on that of a fabulous Spaniard. Si. I see. <laughs> Well, this is going to be fantastic. Are you actually from Spain itself? When did you come to these United States? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I am the least. I'm the least famous brother of Antonio Banderas. No. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. You're Antonio Banderas's robot skeleton brother. That's exactly Who is right. Also flamboyant. Yes. Yes. <laughs> is uncanny. I didn't know such a thing existed, but I'm delighted. Yes, in, 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 I have a... In Spain, they call me Chloe Banderas. 
Wait, wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. You're see, far, see. you're far yeah. too small to be a Chloe. Oh. Yeah. 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 Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, First of all, no, 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 I no, I don't, no, 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 no. That was out of line. No, 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 it was not out of line. I'll tell you why it was not out of line. She's not an actress. She doesn't do anything. She's just somebody who's on TV and is a fame whore. So she's a perfectly legitimate target. That's right. I agree. Do you think she got to keep the bridesmaid's dress? No, that was that was Court. That, oh, was, right, that was right. Chloe. Right. That was uh, right. that was Kim. She's awesome. Oh, no, she's amazing. Yeah, she is. Yeah. I like those shoes. Hey, my ear just butt. went. My ear just went funny. Yeah. Yeah. You what ever happened? get that? No. What happened? Yeah, my ear. Just, <laughs> do you ever get your ear kind of just goes yee like that? What happened? I don't know. Do you, you know what they call that? What? Vertigo. <laughs> then you fall down. <laughs> I'm not falling. I'm not going to lie down on that. No, it happens sometimes. <laughs> well, anyway, look, we have to get on. Then. Yeah, yeah. You know, what we do here is flamboyant Antonio Banderas' gay Spanish brother is... That's right, please, isn't it? Please, Chloe. <laughs> Chloe. Right, Chloe, well, we have to take a commercial break, and then we'll be right back. We'll be right back. <laughs> Did you like that movie, whoever you are tonight, Jeff? Sí, claro. Me gusta. Me gusta? Ah, sí, claro, me gusta. So, you like Kevin Costner then, oh. Spanish -y sounding, Jeff? Sí, yes, I like Kevin Costner. I like him so much, Craig. Jeff, I like this new you. You seem to be very positive and upbeat. This is Jeff from Barcelona. I love Barcelona. It's one of my favorite cities. I enjoy the tapas. Do you oh, enjoy the tapas? See, I like the tapas. I like the baramas. I like them both. <laughs> so you're still a fan of the double entendre then, even although you're Spanish, <laughs> I see. Claro que sí. Maravillosa. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that means. I don't speak Spanish. But that's okay. It just means good times. <laughs> to say it. Teach me. Ma. Ma. Ra. Ra. Si. Si. The next part is big. Ready? Hosa. I can't do that. <laughs> no, just legally, I'm not allowed to do that. Right. Now, you've got to be a citizen for 10 years before you can oh, do that. Oh, see, you're just two. Oh, two years as yeah, a citizen, yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah, no. how, long, how long have you been a citizen? I, I, I'm still a resident alien. <laughs> you most certainly are. All right, um, would you like to introduce the commercial break? Yes, I would. Okay. Now it's time for the pay for the show. It comes on late at night. It's commercial break. <laughs> Tonight, Jeff is not Jeff. He is, in fact, Chloe Banderas. Chloe Banderas. <laughs> Chloe Banderas. <laughs> hey, you know what? You know what's happening on the show on Friday? On Friday, the author of uh, this book, Small Town Girl, is going to be here, which is uh, nice. Her name is Linda Cunningham, and she's my mother-in-law, which is great. And in no way is that, and in no way is that why she's booked on the show. <laughs> But the thing is, I read the book, which I don't normally do. I'm like, yeah, yeah, all right. But I read it. It's filthy. <laughs> all in here. In fact, we've invited some celebrities to read from it. <laughs> Take a look. It gets much dirtier than that. <clears throat> Page 58. <clears throat> Do you ever read uh, erotic romance novels there, Jeff? I mean, Chloe? Yeah, sometimes, sometimes I listen to them on audiobook. Oh, yeah. you do? Who's your favourite person to listen to when they're reading on the audiobooks, the sexy voiced actors? Oh, sexy voice. I like, uh, who was the guy that played the owl in uh, Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> who was that guy? That guy's voice, that guy's voice could just undress me with his voice. 
he could just he could just pin me down with the, the ground with his voice and just say, I'm going to do something wonderful to you. What would that wonderful thing be? I don't know. If I ever meet that guy, I swear <laughs> I'm going to do you know, something. I have to tell you, Chloe, if that yeah. is your name, you sound a little bit like Al Pacino in Scarface on helium. <laughs> You want the bad guy? I'll show you the bad guy! <laughs> <laughs> All right, what time is it, Chloe Peterson? It's time to do emails and tweet. <laughs> Twitter, Twitter, tweeting, tweeting, ephemeral, ephemeral, fleeting, fleeting, blue gun web, face coat, quit, so as mode, checks the tweets, checks the tweets, checks the tweets, checks the tweets, checks the tweets. Check and also email. And your email. All right, see what we got. This is, uh, let's see, this is, um, mm -hmm, yes, this is from Claire in Minneapolis, Minnesota. You ever been to Minneapolis there, Chloe? Oh, yes, cool. It's hace frío. <laughs> I have no idea what he's saying. I, I apologize. I know that people watch this show for its lack of accents. <laughs> I didn't get that. What did you say? Uh, I'm not getting any of this. What did you say? I thought I couldn't tell what you say. I, I don't know what you're saying. I don't what see what you you're saying. saying. I don't know what you're saying. You I thought free. I, I thought fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think I hear you laughing out of your nose there. No, that was I just passed wind. <laughs> Is that part of the essential maintenance that's going on in your inner? That's right. It's called a reboot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this is from Claire in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Dear Craig and uh, Chloe, um, will you host the Oscars now that Eddie Murphy is out? Not that anyone's asked me, but if they did, I'd say, Sacre bleu. <laughs> and everybody thinks, oh, you're just saying that because they, they won't ask you. And you're right. <laughs> This is from Max in Pasadena in California. Ever been to Pasadena, California? Got a little place there? Like to go swimming? Oh, yeah. I got a craftsman out there. It's nice. You have a craftsman in Pasadena? <laughs> yeah, you know how it is. <laughs> no, I don't know how it is. How easy. You know, Antonio got a place. It's not my place. It belongs to Antonio and uh, Melanie. It's their place. So, you... you <laughs> And Antonio and Melanie's craftsman in Pasadena? That's right. They, they don't know about it, but I'm there. Okay. Uh, they might hear about it. Uh, dear Craig and Chloe, I accidentally called my girlfriend by the wrong name earlier today. How do I recover from this? Grow a moustache. Right there. Is that right? <laughs> This is from Kathy in Latrobe in, uh, in America. Um, <laughs> Pennsylvania? Wisconsin. Yeah. Latrobe. You ever been to Latrobe, Pennsylvania? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I meant yes. No, I didn't understand that. Say it again. See. <laughs> Hi, uh, Craig, Jeff, who's a Chloe, and the Secretariat. That's it. That, that, we're done. I, I accidentally dropped the emails. <laughs> you ever accidentally dropped something there, uh, Jeff? Chloe? Oh, my God, are you kidding? All the time. Look at my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> that's, like, that's like the worst carpal tunnel you ever saw. Every now and again, you sound a little bit Transylvanian. Do you know that? <laughs> it's like, I, the worst the tunnel. I mean, and then you're Spanish again. Well, that's you know. like... I get around, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have to take a break. We'll be right back. Right, 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 right. back. My first guest tonight is a very, very beautiful... You hear this? I see. Well, I, you were looking over there. I could see you looking over. What are you looking at? I look at She's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> You're not checking out my ass, are you? Yeah, poquito. <laughs> I wish, poquito. <laughs> oh, snap. Yeah, that's 
that's fine. Hey, uh, do, do you recognize the uh, voice of the robot tonight by any chance? I'll just dangle this in front of you. I would bow down to you if my dress wasn't so tight, <laughs> Lieutenant. Please, no apologies for that dress. It's amazing. <laughs> Really? It's, yeah, I know. It looks like someone airbrushed it on you. I like that you're appreciating it. Oh, yeah, it's nice. Are you appreciating it as much as I appreciate seeing you in your shorts for so many years? Oh, that's right. Thanks. That's nice to say. I'd like to hear more about the time that you guys met in a club. No, no, no. No, what the hell? Are there no, 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 we want to talk that? about... No, no, no. Uh, the movie. So the movie was... Uh, oh. No. You're not ugly, you're adorable. Well, let's ask the uh, man. Chloe? David Taylor is so guapo. <laughs> what? Does that come with large fries? What was that? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I, I hate that David Taylor is so guapo. Guapo? Well, that means handsome. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that means handsome. See, my Spanish is improving by having a gay Spanish speaking robot. Why not? <laughs> Soon your gayness will improve too. <laughs> I think it's in pretty good shape. Thank you very much. So that's like something you don't normally do, which is watch porn with a woman. Am I right, miss? That is all right. You heard it. <laughs> what did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> well, Spanish, Chloe, Jeff, Peterson, what else? Banderas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, it's going to be sad that you're going away, but it's you're going away. Yeah, sad for me too. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I can't understand anything you're saying. That's okay. That was not words. <laughs> Wait, you just make up sounds and that you was, sit. That was just a sad sound. Well, you can't just make sad sounds and expect me to understand them. It's not like you have an expression. No, really, no. No, no. It's not like, oh, I'll read your body language. Here it is. Oh. I will. That, your voice is so familiar. Do you play the owl in Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> because if that was you, you could, you could take me right here. Like you and Ellen Barkin that one time. No! No, that's not, no, not, no. Those were ships that pass in the night. <laughs> What's that pass in the night? Sheep. Sheep. Sheep that sheep. pass? Sheep yes. that pass in the night? Like, yes. rrr, 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 yes. like <laughs> sheep? Yes, exactly. Sometimes at night, the sheep on the hill get lost and oh, they pass each other. Oh, you don't need other. to tell me. I'm Scottish. I like a good... <laughs> oh. uh, Oh, a sheep lost in the night is like money in the bank. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. It's just I'm excited. <laughs> yes, I can tell from your body language and your excited sounds. Watch this. Yeah, watch this with my hand. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now it's a party. <laughs> As I can hardly wait for Dave to come out and comment on it. <laughs> <laughs> That was good. That was good. Oh, that was good. Yeah, that do was that. I like that David Taylor. He's nice. He is. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. He's not married, you know. I'm not surprised. No. That's <laughs> good. good night, everybody. Good night. Good evening. I am your guest host for tonight, Larry King. No, you're not. Yes, no, I am. No, you're not. No. Yes, I no, am. No, yes, no, I no, am. no, Larry, you're not. I'm, no. I was brought here in the false pretense. No, you're not. They brought... told me I was the guest host. You're the guest sidekick. Well, you can't walk off. We haven't even started yet. <laughs> Look. Guest sidekick? You're, the, you're, you're not really the sidekick. You're the voice of the sidekick. The robot is being repaired for a couple of weeks. I you... have had a long and distinguished career. It's come to this. <laughs> I'm a guest robot. <laughs> you should have gone to college. So... <laughs> Here's the thing. Okay. All right. Give me you, your... What happens is you, you, the robot is over there, right? I See know, the robot there? I'm in here. Right, right, okay. I've been here when I was a guest. Yes! Those okay. were the good times. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> you, what you do is you're the. <laughs> you're the voice of the robot, but you, what you, you have to think like the robot. Get inside the robot. You be know, a robot. Be a robot. Like, you know the Vulcan mind meld? Like, mm, mm. Jewish robot. Do you, a Jewish robot? If you want, Larry. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, all right, I'm Jewish so, and I'm a robot. Okay. Right, so that's all you have to do tonight. You will be Just the, sit there. 
No, you'll be inside the robot. Your body will be in stasis. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're putting me in him. Well, maybe you could do it yourself, Larry. <laughs> I'm being made a foil of. No, yes, Larry, I'm no. being made a foil of. No, we're, you're going to... I came here, no, you're they gonna told me no, I was no, no, this is going to happen. You're going to lie no, in a... No, I'm a robot. No, no, you're going you're gonna to lie in a pod off stage, and your mind will be taken into the robot's body, and you will operate the body using your mind while your body is lying inert. I got it. You are sick. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. I'll do it for you. Thanks, Larry. I will not okay. do this for, for the guy before you. <laughs> Well, he, yeah. <laughs> he, he, he has a living sidekick, though, Larry. <laughs> It'd be very difficult to fit you inside the body of Paul Schaefer. Right? <laughs> Thank Although, God. I think, <laughs> All right. I think Paul might enjoy it. But then, look, right, anyway, look. All right. The main thing, go off stage, go into your pod, and let your mind float into the robot. I'm body. going to my pod. Tonight, the robot will be Larry King. Am I right, Larry King? Right, Larry King, Jeff. Am I right about that, buddy? Hey, what, what the hell? Hey. Now, <laughs> <laughs> now you've developed a fear of public speaking. <laughs> Don't even want to do the. Uh, did I piss you off with the wedding thing? <laughs> Join us after the break when Larry King Jeff will hopefully be working again, everybody. excited tonight. Things are going crazy. The robot has the personality of Larry King. I was reading a book during the commercial break. <laughs> this book, it, the author of this book is on, is on the show tomorrow night. The book is called Small Town Girl. It was written by Linda Cunningham and she's my mother-in-law. <laughs> it's a romantic novel. I was reading it. It's actually pretty good except there are bits in it that are filthy. <laughs> <laughs> We had celebrities read them. Take a look at this. Oh, that was that was that wasn't that dirty unless fireflies mean something dirty. Do you think fireflies mean something dirty, Larry King Jeff? Oh uh, yeah, well, well, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, well. I'm, I'm so this is so new to me to be a robot. I have my own harmonica. I don't know how to play harmonica. Well, try, Just, try. I mean, this is of all the things I've done in this business. Craig, this is really the weirdest. There's, a, there's an air conditioning blowing directly on top of my head. No, no, that's, that's your body's head you're thinking about there. Well, I like the tube. I like being in the inner tube. I like the feeling in here. It's very... Yeah, but, you're, that, but your mind is now in the robot, Larry King, Jeff. You must try to think like, like a robot. I must... <laughs> Yes. Okay, Craig. I will think no, like... No, I don't think... I didn't say think like a robot who is poor command of the English language. I just meant think like a robot, you know. Okay, how, take would your, a, what? how would a robot think? Well, you know, uh, rationally. Think rationally. Don't think a with your penis. A rational robot. What? You want me to be a rational robot? Yeah, yeah. Imagine, imagine you're Mitt Romney or something like that. Good, yeah. All right, I, first I have to tie my dogs to the top of my car. <laughs> Which is what he did, by the way. He did that, did he? He drove once. It's true, he drove once. That's true. He, uh, he drove once. He drove to Canada. The car was full of people, and he tied the dogs to the top of the car. Well, that is... That, that's outrageous. And, and did the, how did the dogs get into Canada? Don't you need a passport for that or something? I think he got them in. I, he must have gotten them in. They got, I don't know how they got back. Well, I know they went in. That's a true... You're laughing. It's a true story. I don't know if they got back. Did they ever get back, the dogs? Maybe they blew off the top of the car. What kind Maybe. of dogs were they? How the hell do I know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is awesome. This show's never been better. Hey, uh, what time is it, Larry King? It's time for the emails. Yeah, yeah, that's...
That's right, play the thing. Euro crashes and Euro litter. Get on the dance floor and shake your Twitter. Bum, 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 bum. Check the tweets. Plus email. Plus the emails. All right, this is for, from Shauna in uh, Manchester, New Hampshire. You ever been to Manchester, New Hampshire? Oh, uh, yes. For the, does that shock you? I was there for the uh, primaries in uh, about 12 years ago. I walked the streets of Manchester when I was, that's when I was a human. When I was a normal Jew, just walking the streets. I was not a robot. This is either the worst or best idea I've ever had. I got a five. Anyway, look, look here. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, Sean says, uh, Hi, Craig and Larry King, Jeff. Uh, there's a bowl of candy at work, and I can't help but eat from it all day. What can I do to control myself? Do you have a problem with sugar? You like to eat a lot of sugar? I like sugar, but I don't have a problem with it. I have type 2 diabetes. <laughs> I guess I have a problem. I, I, like, I like chocolate, milk chocolate. I know dark chocolate is in, but I, you, didn't like, you didn't want this, did you? You didn't want a robot who thinks. You didn't want someone who, who creates of his own mind. No. I like milk chocolate. My advice... <laughs> My advice to the lady... Shut up! I'll give you the advice. <laughs> I can't, how do you expect me to keep to time? But the robot won't stop talking! <laughs> this is from Tim in Charlottesville, Virginia. Everybody, no, we're not even asked! I'm not asking! <laughs> Dear Craig and Larry King Jeff, I've been told that my voicemail message sounds like a robot. Is it possible to not sound like a robot when you're recording a message? Oh, well, you've come to the right place! <laughs> Hey, do you sound like a robot on your answering machine, Larry? I'm Jeff. I don't answer my answering machine. <laughs> uh, there's a voice that says you've reached this number, leave a message. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't in fact, I don't even know how to do, I don't know how to do the answer. I don't know how to do the machine, I answer it, that's all. You know what I do, Craig? I got, I got something on news for you. I got, I got news for all people who text. <laughs> I told you, that's it, relax. Hey, listen. You want to leave? I'll do the show. We'll be right back, Aaron. Welcome back to the show. Okay. My first guest tonight is a very talented actor. Stop it! <laughs> Do you make up stories all the time? Who? Larry King. Oh, you didn't give oh, him? Oh, yeah. Give him, give him the name of a town and he's off. Isn't that right, Jeff, Larry King? Yes. Can I ask Tilly something? Sure. It's, it's, it's Molly. Molly Shannon. It's Molly Shannon. I know it's Molly. <laughs> sure, uh, you see, yeah. I'm in the mood for things, so I'm into the book. So I'm going to ask Tilly. Oh, oh you're going right. to ask yeah, Tilly? Yeah, you can ask but Tilly. But Jeff, huh? do you want me to answer for Tilly? All right, I'll ask Molly. Okay, thank you, thank you. I'll try to bring some coherence to this program. <laughs> Molly, is it hard to write for children in that there's a tendency to write down to the age? To write down to the age? Yeah. Hmm. What that's the hell? <laughs> what the hell is this? This is not CNN a couple of years ago. You son of a bitch, you've taken over! The robots become self-aware. I just stay out of it. Stay out. Stay out of it. Okay. Stay out of it. Molly, is it hard to write for children? Do you find yourself writing uh, down to the age of the, the kid that you're writing to? No, I don't. I actually I See, see. See? So Okay. <laughs> I should have Jeff come and read to the kids one night. Yeah, that wouldn't scare him at all. It's too weird though. I don't let my kids read. <laughs> no, I don't like any of that weird stuff. Right, robot Jeff, who's got the voice of Larry King? I hate to add some uh, information to this program. <laughs> but, uh, no, go ahead, man. Let's hear it. Please. Uh, Johnny Depp. I did a special with Johnny Depp, and Johnny Depp is going to do uh, the life of Dr. Seuss, the 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 
the reason, the comprehension behind that brilliant children's series, and I hope that Molly's book will enter into that class of books to rank with Dr. Seuss. I just try to bring some clarity to show back to you, Craig. All right. Crazy dream. No, no. It's just, like, imagine dream. he's just gonna imagine like he's weird, Larry King, and I'm even weirder, Anderson Cooper. <laughs> That's what's happening. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, you like that, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm trying. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to sneak a look at your boobies. <laughs> Will you stop breathing there? <laughs> uh, breathing is called normal, you know. <laughs> Yeah, not, not for a robot. Robots don't breathe, so knock it off. So I'm going to do this show and die at the same time? <laughs> hey, I do it every night during the monologue. You can do it. <laughs> all right, all right. We're doing the awkward pose, right? Molly, take us out. <laughs> thank you, thank you all right. Jeff. All right. Listen, welcome back. Listen, when, when the guests are, you know, just don't, don't interrupt or get all professional with them. It's really showing me up. <laughs> Okay, fine. Okay, just fine. It's going to be they like got a that. call here. Uh, hold on. <laughs> they want us. Uh, they want us to take this on the road. Oh, you go first. I'll text you when I'm on my way. All right. My uh, next nice. guest is. And then they moved on to a more professional. Larry King actually <laughs> took over. Oh man, I yeah. can see why. That mohawk is just. Yeah, no, him. he's awesome. He, he looks bad. Have you, you ever met the? Uh... Oh, just... We met backstage when I was a human. <laughs> Larry, I didn't know your eyes were so blue, man. So Sinatra ain't got nothing on you. What, yeah. Do I look good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look, yeah, you look like, great. Yeah. Yeah, Can you... I ask Michael another Yeah, show? go on. Ask Michael. He's got questions. Can I bring another civil moment to this show? Yeah, yeah, all right, go on. Right, I follow the horse now. Uh, <laughs> are you... Are you surprised, Michael, at all by the success of Boardwalk Empire? Hey, wait, wait. Uh, knock it off, man. That's inappropriate. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Let, no, no, I don't. apologize. No, no. Michael, are you surprised by the, <laughs> by the success of Boardwalk Empire? See where you go with that. No, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any, uh, any follow-up uh, about the South Africa thing there? Can I get a transcript of this? Uh, <laughs> no, I, I want to just add, I think Michael is one of the brilliant forces on television because he impacts the screen. In other words, some people come on and they're there and then they disappear. But Michael... Sorry, you know, man. You I tell you what, be, uh, that... If what? you're unhappy with me as a robot, no. <laughs> don't have me back. No. Okay? no I, I like knowing where you are. In your pod. So... What were you uh, some kind of uh, uh, let's. What about a? Uh, you, you could menace me if you wanted, or would you like to take a break from that and have perhaps me menace you? <laughs> yeah. Well, you want me to menace you? Yes. Okay, I'll give it a shot. You are not watching PBS. <laughs> what did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> what do you think, then? Did it work? Did you learn anything tonight? <laughs> One, we had great guests. Yeah, yeah. Two, I'm from Brooklyn, too, so I feel so proud when people from Brooklyn make it. Yeah. And he has some talent. Yeah, well, he was a guest by the, the show. You were just you know, a robot. We kid you know, let's stop. What? Let's stop the kidding for a moment. I, I want to say this for the people here, people in the audience, people across the country. You're a great host. You're a terrific personality. You deserve a better time slot. <laughs> you, Are you trying to destroy me, man? No. I want to, I want to bring you into more homes. Well, I don't want to be in more homes. Like, you like look, this. No, no, see, the thing is about, you know, what we do here is we're they tucked don't. away quietly. They don't know what we're doing. We got a robot talking like Larry King. And they're like, they don't know we're here. And in that's other words, good. If, if I called up, let's say, CBS, 
New York. Right. And I said, can you give me some information on Craig Ferguson? They They'd be like, they be, we have no idea who that is. Uh, you know, does he work was, here? Where they, does he work? They uh, think uh, when Letterman call goes, HR. That's what they'd say. They think, in other words, when Letterman goes off, they think the late show is a movie. Yeah, yeah. No, well, I think what happened is an infomercial with a British guy. That's what they think it is. <laughs> That's what they think it is. It's like they, it's an infomercial. Well, they should know better. And no, I, I, I am, and by the way, I'm <clears throat> very happy to be a robot. If you ever want me, back. you know, you should come back and do it again. I, th I really think we were onto something there, right there, when you were asking questions and like, I, you know, it was amazing. It was like a real TV show. For <laughs> Anytime you want me, to, yeah, I have no. more fun here than anywhere, and I'll, anytime you want me back. Well, I'd, I'd have you back anytime. I'll fit it into my was. busy schedule. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going, anyway? That's, Terrific. Yeah, Everything's you're good. That, you're doing that stand-up I'm doing show? comedy. I'm doing... I've been... You know where I've been? Where? I've been to Kazakhstan. I've been to... That's a big comedy town right there. They are. Uh, a lot oh, of man, laughs, They're boy. like that. You do the chuckle hut there in Kazakhstan? <laughs> You've been there? Yeah, the chuckle hut in Kazakhstan. You bet I have. Yeah, I opened for Drew Carey. How about how about Slovakia? You've been to Slovakia? No, no, I've been to Kosovo. Oh, I haven't been to Kosovo. Oh, I've, that's a good. Have you been to Kobe. Portugal? Yeah. Korea? No. Are we Korea. just going to do countries? Yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> Well, are we done? Are we off? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're done. Well, thank your guests tonight. Uh, I'd like to thank my guests. Molly Shannon, Michael K. Williams, and Larry, Th Larry King is Jeff. we got to go, everybody. Thank you, night. Night, night, night. I'm Louis Anderson. I'm the guest host tonight. <laughs> no. No. What? No, no, he's not. No. <laughs> you are the voice of the robot tonight. The robot is going under repairs. Uh, for two weeks, different people are doing the voice of the robot. Stop texting me and saying, when's the robot coming back? <laughs> people have your text number? <laughs> You know what I mean, Tweety yeah. and stuff. Anyway, oh, okay, you, right. so what happens is we take you backstage and you go into a pod. Okay. Yeah, and in the pod, once you're in the pod, your mind is taken from you and put in the, in the body of the robot, like the Vulcan mind okay, meld. You know the Vulcan? You. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But you have an added problem. Okay. Because the second guest on the show tonight is my mother-in-law. Yo, so I'll be real nice. <laughs> yeah, okay, that'll yeah, work yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, she wrote a book. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, I met her. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah. She said anything about me? She, I, everybody was fawning over her, so I figured you were in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> She's my mother-in-law. Yeah, she, yeah, she, yeah. She hates me. She does? I have sex with her daughter. <laughs> I, met, I met her daughter. Very beautiful. What the hell, man? Everybody was in one room. What? Uh, anyway, look, 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 here's the thing. They were putting makeup on. <laughs> anyway, look. Okay. Really? Yes. Oh, right. Look, so you go backstage, you go into your pod, okay, pod. and the, 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 the suckers will go in yeah. your head, and then your voice will come out of the robot for the rest of the show. Okay, you got it. Right. And you will be the personality of the robot. I will. Right. Did you, did you get that? Did you get it? Did you get it? All yeah. right. All right, we'll be right back. All right. All right. Did you hear that? Their, oh. their, their breathing became audible. Oh, brother. <laughs> I'd like to get a copy of that. I, I got one here. I'd love it. Yeah. I, also, by the way, here's mm -hmm. the thing we're doing on the show. You know how, like, Oprah gives away a car to the audience? Like, everybody in the audience gets a car? Yeah. Well, we're, everybody in the audience gets a free copy of this book. Tonight. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah baby. That's fantastic. Hey, uh... What? I've got 11 bags of Skittles in my butt. <laughs> Family size or fun size? Halloween size. I see. Do you like a big Halloween or do you keep things small? I like colors. Well, great. <laughs> There's nothing for you at this show, then. <laughs> hey, uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's time 
for emails and all that other stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Jeff, here we go. This is from Morgan in Hutchison, Minnesota. You ever been to Hutchison, uh, Minnesota? Uh, believe it or not, I have been. You have? Uh-huh. What did you... I worked on a pig farm there for a while. Is that true? I slopped the pigs. You what, the pigs? Slopped them. Swapped them for what? Slopped them. Uh-oh, swabbed them. I thought you were saying, hey, them. Got... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you said swapped them. I like, you know, hey, I'll swap uh, this pig for that car, that kind of thing. <laughs> is that what you did? Yeah, no, I slapped him, but I didn't, I didn't swap him. If you... It was a work release program. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. What I'm saying is, if you had a pig, uh, would you swap it or would you hang on to it? If I was tired of it, I'd swap it. I see, so a pig is just something to be toyed with for you, isn't it? And talk to. <laughs> All right, uh, Morgan in Hutchison, Minnesota says, Hi, Craig and Jeff. I like the teacher's assistant in one of my courses. How can I ask him out without looking like I'm doing it for extra credit? <laughs> you ever been attracted to one of, your, uh, one of your teachers there, Jeff? Yes, the gym teacher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is from uh, Chris in Charlotte, North Carolina. <laughs> You ever been to Charlotte, North Carolina? I have not. I've been there. Is it beautiful? Yes, it is. I'd love to go. I'll meet you in the convertible. <laughs> <laughs> this says, Dear Craig and Jeff, have either of you ever considered going into politics after leaving show business? Leaving show business? We're not. I can remember. Show business? <laughs> what are you talking about? It's a creepy guy in a. Uh oh. Talking to a skeleton? <laughs> Basement voiced by Louie Anderson for Girl with a Dragon Tattoo. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What, do, what would you do when you left uh, show business there, Jeff? I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right, here, this is from uh, KC. Oh, I wonder if it's from KC and the Sunshine Band. Do you remember them? I, I, I opened for them once. <laughs> Is Larry that... King came out and talked, and then I did a comedy act. <laughs> and then they sang. Oh, 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 that kind of opening for him. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> anyway, Casey... <laughs> oh, you, you found, yeah, that worked for you eventually, did it? All right. Uh, well, I didn't is... know I was supposed to laugh. <laughs> well, you know, every little helps is what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyway, uh, KC in Sydney, Australia says, Hi, Craig and Jeff. I recently found out my sister had a one-night stand with my best friend. Uh-oh. Is it too awkward to confront them on it? But why the hell would you want to? <laughs> what, yeah, live and own... let live. Yeah, yeah, mind your own -la -la business. <laughs> how about that? Right, Jeff? Well, how good of a friend was he? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't know how good uh, of a friend uh, was. Uh, 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 what? Up, uh, uh. No. All right. All right. Oh, we're out of time? Yeah. Again? <laughs> yeah, we got to do the commercial break. Do you want to do the commercial break? I, you I... do the commercial break while I read this very entertaining Okay. Book. All right. <laughs> Come back for more stuff. Hey, do you, do, you ever, uh, do you ever go and see Louis Anderson when you're up in Vegas? Who is... Uh, be... Never heard of him. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, he's he's the voice of Jeff. He's he's the personality of Jeff Peterson. I love the I love the Jeff today. Yeah. Thank you. I love you on the Price Is Right. Thank you very much. Higher, higher. <laughs> what did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? We had to add the cat escaping so that people wouldn't write in and say, "Oh, you killed a cat." Yeah. <laughs> 
People love cats. Oh, they do. And the, the type of people who love cats will not hesitate in getting in touch with the no. broadcaster if they think a cat is being mistreated in any way. They are on it. You, could, will. you can't even mistreat a photograph of a cat. Yeah. <laughs> Because that's all that is. Yeah, it's a photograph of a cat. We didn't a actually cat. drop a weight on a cat. Yeah. It's a photograph of a weight falling on the photograph of a cat. But the first time we did it, people were like, Oh, I can't believe you did it on a cat! <laughs> anyway, how did you have a nice time in the pod being them. the skeleton? Uh, the pod was great. Yeah. I love being in the pod. I love your show. You're a great, great host. No, don't, no, don't, stop that. Drew Carey said all that. And now I, that uh, I mean it, though. No, no, well, he didn't mean it? <laughs> Do you know what was weird? My mother-in-law being on the show. Oh, man. Oh, you know what? Was it that, like, did you not know really what to say? Because what do you say? Well, you know, the thing is, I knew that she needed to be more embarrassed than me because I've read the book, and there are, that nipple teeth thing is really in yeah, there. Yeah. You know, I, I, I don't know how to look at the woman. I mean, isn't it crazy? Your mother-in-law, and then you read that book, and you go, what? <laughs> Yeah. And then you show your wife and go, this is your mother. Yeah. <laughs> Comes handy in an yeah, argument, yeah. though, you know. <laughs> and she goes, you didn't clean up the bathroom. I went, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I had my nipples in somebody's teeth. You know? <laughs> my favorite part is when she plugged her publicist. Yeah, what the hell? I like know. that. Like that. Uh, they that's changed my like favorite that. thing, yeah. yeah. It's awesome that you were here, man. I love being here. Well, let's... I would like you just to get rid of that robot, and I'll just stand there. <laughs> wait, wait. wait. I really don't want you to get rid of the robot, because no, no, I don't want to stand. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. Hi. Stop, wait until I, I start it's my show. I don't understand. <laughs> Just let me do it and then we, everyone will be fine. <laughs> good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and um, other. Uh, good, good evening. Um, <laughs> welcome to week two of Jeff uh, being repaired, so we have to have a different personality for Jeff every night. Apparently, tonight he's not Jeff. Uh, or Jeff's a girl's name. Are you a lady Jeff tonight? Yes, my name is Jeff. <laughs> I see, and your uh, personality will be that of a sort of... Uh, is there such a thing as a male and female personality? Or is it just to do with uh, business, you know, downstairs? Gentles is what I'm saying. You sound like Harry Potter. <laughs> really? I don't think I sound like Harry Potter at all. Oh, I'm starting to sound a little bit like Harry Potter. Wait a minute, if I... And you look a bit like Ron! Yes, you do! Oh, shut up, Ron, come on! Just say it, Voldemort! There, I said it, aha! Do you have hair extensions? <laughs> Not in my head. You're cute. I like you. Are you listening to what I'm saying, or is it just a set of pre-recorded phrases that are just getting fired at me by some person? Do you have balls? <laughs> Not on me. Uh, at the moment. <laughs> Did you just, did you just move that hand? I but don't, I, I'm I, what? Your nails are lovely. Thank you, thank you so much. Where'd you get them done? At the place where you get balls. <laughs> well, everybody, I think a second Peabody is only a couple of seconds. We'll be right back. Herman Cain's wife spoke to the press about the uh, harassment charges against her husband. She said, if it's true, then her husband must have a split personality. And Herman Cain responded by saying, she's right, and then said, no, she's not. <laughs> See, right there, that was a joke right there. That was a, that was a joke. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, and of course... <laughs> 
<laughs> you ever been to Hawaii there, strangely weird ginger lady Jeff? I have a place there. <laughs> you do? Yeah, and we drink and we have beers and uh, beads. <laughs> Beers and beads? Yeah, and then we get naked. <laughs> Is it me or does this look more and more like a very weird children's program? <laughs> you get you have beers and beads and then you get naked? Yeah, because we go swimming. <laughs> That's nice. Wh which stroke do you prefer? I like the one where everyone is naked. I don't think I don't think that's really a stroke. It's fun, you should come. <laughs> I've had a nickel for every time I'd heard that, young lady. No. I... <laughs> uh, would you care to have a throat to the <laughs> Would you care to throw it to the commercial break? Would yes, you? this is the best product ever. It will make you so pretty. <laughs> is all the rage with the kids. That's so pretty, I love it. <laughs> no, I'm doing that, what we usually do is like, I blow on the organ, then you blow on the organ, and we have a little competition of organ blowing. Okay. I, now I blow. Now I, now I blow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the trick with blowing is to use some breath. <laughs> okay, but I didn't want to hurt you. Did you like that? It was pretty. I liked it. <laughs> very nice. Very, very Did nice. Did you like it? Hey, uh, do you, uh, were you out in line for the, uh, the Twilight movies? Did you go and have a look? Did you enjoy the Twilight? Did you like the, uh, you know, the kind of, oh, I have the vibe. You know what I'm talking about. I like those boys because they're cute and they're pale. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I got a problem, though, is that they went to Rio, uh, you know, and they're vampires and they went to Rio. It's very sunny in Rio. You just have to use sunblock, a lot of it, like you use it, because you're pale. <laughs> No, I'm only pale because I'm in shock. I don't understand, but you're handsome. <laughs> yeah, that'll do for me. What time is it? Oh, it's time for tweets and emails. Yay! Yay! Your emails. Ooh, ooh. emails. All right, this is from Dan in Smithtown, New York. He says, uh, "You ever been to Smithtown, New York? You got a little place there, I like to go." So I have a place there. It's pretty. <laughs> this is just Smithtown we're talking about, right? It's nice. You should come. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, I will be proposing to my girlfriend the day before Thanksgiving while visiting her family. We plan to make the announcement at dinner. Any advice? Yeah, what you should do is uh, put the ring in the turkey's ass. <laughs> and then when her father's carving up the turkey, he'll go, hey, what, why, what's this? And the turkey, and you go, surprise! <laughs> What do you think? You think that, that would work? I think it's romantic. I like it. It's pretty. 
<laughs> Wait a minute. You, haven't you been here before? I think you have been here before. Weren't you selling a fragrance? You were sitting right there and selling a fragrance. I recognize that voice. I don't know who that is. <laughs> But I, you're pretty, I like you. That's all that matters. Uh, this is from uh, Rachel in Badon Rouge, Louisiana. Ever been to Badon Rouge? You like the Cajun food? You like the hot, spicy, uh, refried beans? <laughs> My apologies to all Cajun chefs. Uh, of course, there's no refried beans in Cajun food. They only fry them once. It's not like, that's the thing about refried beans. You fry them, you fry them again. Why not just fry them once and get it done with? Because if you, everything is nice when you do it twice. <laughs> yes, you're right, actually. All right, uh, Rachel says, Dear Craig and Jeff, uh, probably means you, um, <laughs> my friend has asked me if she can borrow some money and, wi and while I have it, I don't trust it, her enough to pay me back. Should I just be nice and give it to her? No. <laughs> no, she's only your friend. <laughs> what would you give your friend money for to help her out of a tricky situation, you bitch? <laughs> what do you think? Am I being too harsh there, Lady Jeff? <laughs> you said bitch. Did I? I didn't mean to. I meant to say jerk. Oh, th then I understand. This is from Laura in Arvada, Colorado. Ever been to Colorado? Would you like to go skiing there? I, skiing makes me cold. Might put, put on a warm jacket. <gasps> That's such a good idea. You're so smart. <laughs> I'm really growing to like you. you. You're the only one around here that gets me. I understand you because I think we think alike. <laughs> yeah, I think we do. Thank you. You're pretty too. <laughs> You're right. I should come. <laughs> this is from uh, Laura who says... <laughs> Hi, Craig and Jeff. I've been fooling around with one of my roommates in a friends with benefits kind of agreement, but I've developed feelings for him. What should I do? Oh, follow him. <laughs> follow him. Uh, follow him back home to live where he lives in Connecticut with his wife and children, and then find the, find the pet rabbit. Get in there and boil that little bastard in the kitchen. <laughs> then you laugh. <laughs> You see that movie? I like bunnies because they're fuzzy. <laughs> hi, Craig and Jeff. This is from Lisa in Raleigh, North Carolina. Ever been there? Got a little place like to go with you? Oh, yeah. Uh, hi, Craig and Jeff. Is there any band or artist you're embarrassed to admit you really enjoy? <laughs> no. <laughs> Justin Bieber, maybe a little bit. I love him. He's so cute. He, he is pretty. I will admit that. He's pretty. He's pretty. Yeah. He's got a nice voice. Yeah, but I like your hair better. <laughs> you like my hair better than Justin Bieber's hair? Yeah, it looks fuzzy. I like things that are fuzzy. <laughs> No one's ever said they liked my hair more than Justin Bieber's hair. No one has ever said they liked anybody's hair more than Justin Bieber's hair. He's got the best hair ever. Combed forward, combed to the side, up, down, everything. It's fabulous. I like you because you're pretty. You're winning me over. All right, um, what was that? Something buzz over there? Did you ever do that? You think your phone buzzed and then you realized you don't even have your phone on you? <laughs> If that's never happened to you, you never took acid. <laughs> but if you never took acid, you don't understand the show. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. See you. You didn't see anything. We are not the droids you're looking for. Do that. 
No, no, never mind. Well, may I say, your hair looks great. I know, but Jeff upstaged my hair tonight. Uh, my well, new red hair. No, no, it doesn't. No, okay, no. Jeff's hair is the same color as mine. No, yours is Because I like it because it's pretty. You're pretty. I like you. <laughs> I like you too, oh, Jeff. Oh, that's nice. Then I would hate for if things got weird. <laughs> You should call me on the phone. Okay. Leave your number, I'll text you. Late at night. I don't know what this is about, this arm here. I don't know. My uh, next guest. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> So, you, you did pretty good. Oh, thank you. No, no, you were good. I think you came on a bit strong early on, you know, to me. I, I think that was just show business, so wasn't it? You were just kind of flirting professionally. No, I'm in love with you. <laughs> Look, it would never work. I'm a man, you're an appliance. Well, it might actually work. <laughs> uh, no, no, I, I don't think so. I, I'm married. I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, it's not really all about you, though. I, I, I have people in my life that would care very much if they caught me cavorting with an electrical piece. But actually, I wouldn't really mind that much. <laughs> this might work. Thank you. I think you're pretty, too. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. And thank you, patient viewers. <laughs> Good night, everybody. All right, please state your name and occupation for the folks at home. Uh, my name is Paul Poundstone, and uh, I'm the... You're the robot tonight. The you're going to be the personality and voice of the robot this evening. That's what you're going to do. I'm the voice of Jeff the robot. Jeff the robot, yeah. And what the you do? personality. Yes, what you do is we, you go backstage to a pod where you'll be encased in a pod and your, your mind and body will be taken from you, much in the same way as you, you know, when you take drugs. And... <laughs> Which, of course, you clearly have a problem with. And then... And then... And then your personality will be put inside the robot for the, you know, the length of the show this evening for hilarious antics to ensue. This is... This is not what they told me. They didn't tell me anything about a pod or uh, any kind of uh, my... So what happens again? No, the... <laughs> well, who are they, Paula? Uh, the, I think I spoke with the producer. Someone called, <laughs> someone called my house and said that they worked for you. Oh, yes. The Nigerian prince. Yes. <laughs> and I sent money right away. You gotta send the money right away. And that's to you folks at home. If you receive an email asking, you know, for money from a Nigerian prince, get that money off there. <laughs> I'm just winding them up. You, they shouldn't do that. Yeah, no, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. I almost, did the, I, I almost did the friend stuck in the London airport thing. Did you get that one? No. Yeah, there's one where somebody that knows you supposedly writes and says they're stuck in the London airport and they need money and they have, like, a good reason. And I almost did it. And it turned out it wasn't real. Is this the kind of... <laughs> is this the kind of hilarious... Rocky, you're going to be doing in the robot tonight? <laughs> Telling you a true story. Well, that's great if it's we were no doing a I got a documentary. <laughs> it's no Chicken Margaret. Not everyone's going to be don't, able to do don't, Chicken don't Margaret. Don't mention Chicken Margaret. I haven't talked about that yet. <laughs> this it, I do a linear show. I yeah, linear well. Show. Well, that's not how we do things here. I do a beginning, a middle, and an end. <laughs> Good night, everybody! What do you think of that story, giant bouffon hair Jeff, tonight? That was a very, very moving story, Craig. <laughs> you mean it was a very, very moving story? You were upset by the story of Chicken Margaret? That it reminded me of a time when I was not flush. <laughs> And I shoved some nail clippers up my skirt. <laughs> well, I hope you know where the hell this is going, because I don't, and I'm not going to help you. What happened then? 
it, it, was, it was in order to steal the nail clippers. I see. No one would look there. <laughs> yeah, nail clipper isn't really a big ticket item. And a frozen chicken can run a few bucks. But I said clipper... I was not flush, all Jeff. Right, all right. Look at my nails, for God's sake. Well, look, good. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, no one's asking you to go for a manicure. I mean, look, if I was down in my luck, <laughs> like this, <laughs> the last thing I'd think is, oh, well, I've, I've got no money. Where am I going to get my nails done? You I mean, don't I'd... know the first thing about down on your luck, <laughs> fat cat. <laughs> how dare you? How, how dare you? How dare you? I, I why? You know, I'm not a fat cat. I'm a dancing monkey for the CBS Corporation, just like you. <laughs> now, introduce the commercials. Uh, here comes a commercial that could save our economy. Tonight, things are not as they seem. Yes, they are. They're exactly as they seem. <laughs> very good. That's very nice. I like your hair. I think the, your hair choice tonight is very, um, what's that? Uh, stupid. <laughs> You can't see your mohawk. Your beehive's covering your mohawk. <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time I've had to say that to someone. I, I, I went with what I felt tonight. I felt beehivey. There's something about you that makes me feel beehivey. <laughs> Are that, bees that, actually inside your hive? I, do you hear that little buzz, buzz sound? <laughs> I thought I just had too much coffee. No, that's that's the beehive. Uh, you're looking sartorially excellent as well. I don't know what that means. Robots have an excellent vocabulary. Oh, really? Is that why you used excellent twice in the same paragraph there? <laughs> they, also, they also jam. Jam? Jam, as in repeating... You don't want to have jam with all these bees around, you'll get infested. <laughs> no, they jam, as in repeating the same thing over and over because it's jammed, it's a machine, a robot. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know we were talking young people. <laughs> Is that what the young people are saying? Hey, we go to jam? No. What up? <laughs> Dog. <laughs> cat. That cat. <laughs> No, the phrase is, what up, dog? I'll bear it in mind. What, what, uh, what time is it? It is time for tweets and emails. <laughs> dog. <laughs> from uh, Ashton. This is from Ashton. Ashton. <gasps> I wonder if it's Ashton. He tweets a lot. He does tweet a lot and it is an email which is very close to a tweet. Oh, oh yeah, it's an it's email. Ashton. He does that too. What, what, what? He does that too. He does. He emails and tweets. He knows all the ways to think. <laughs> no. Ashton in Westchester, uh, Philadelphia. Yeah, that's him. That'll be him. <laughs> Dear GP in the ferns, I think my boyfriend, uh-oh, Oh. Oh, oh, oh! Ashton, I think you just made the news. Uh, I think my boyfriend might be cheating on me. I think it's a different Ashton. No, this is this no, is. No, I him. don't. No, it is. It's a different Ashton. I think my boyfriend might be cheating on me. Is there any way to find out if it's true without invading his privacy? No. 
<laughs> but that doesn't mean you shouldn't. You ever been cheated on there, Jeff? Uh, never. Never. People are... <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Worth checking, worth finding out, worth knowing that uh, you're really helping. Uh, this is from David in Toronto, Canada. You ever been to Toronto, Canada? Got Have I there? been to Toronto? Can I get a place there? I love to throw beads, go swimming, get naked. <laughs> in Toronto? Really? Yeah, yeah. Love to do that in Toronto. Huh? <laughs> well, that would explain your present condition. You ever been to Toronto? To a, Toronto? Me? I'm never out of the place. I go all the time. I tell you how often I've been to Toronto. I don't even call it Toronto. I pronounce it like locals say Toronto. I call it Toronto. <laughs> hey, we're in Toronto. Do you mean Toronto? No, I don't have time for teas. <laughs> Toronto. They just, run it, they just run it on through like that with no teas? Yeah, they just are Toronto, just like that. That's how they say it. Toronto. Whoa. In fact, sometimes they don't even say that. They just go, ah. <laughs> Welcome to Canada and the lovely town of... Ah! They're busy people. They're busy people. They don't have time. They don't have time. Do you know what they say? Toronto is like New York run by the Swiss. <laughs> That's what they say it's like. That's what they say it's like. Well, when they have time. But they don't have time. They, what they just say is... Ah, Swiss. That's all they say. <laughs> anyway, David and... Oh! Uh, says, Dear Craig and Jeff, I'm, a be be uh, but I but I'm about to begin... Yeah, he didn't say that. Yeah, no. <laughs> they said some of it. That's ridiculous. Well, you know, it was written by someone whose body temperature had been lowered a great deal by a frozen chicken that they had pressed again. <clears throat> I'm about to begin at university and I'm trying to pick up a major. Ha <laughs> ha! Any suggestions? Go to West Point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See what I did? Yeah, see what I, did? I see what you did. I turned it into a joke. Yeah. I, like a real joke. There's two uses of the word major. I see what you're saying. Yeah, that's right. I took the other word of the uh, major and I made it a homoerotic reference. Yeah. <laughs> you making some a homoerotic reference blow me away. <laughs> I like your style. <laughs> this is from <laughs> this is from Calvin in Surprise, Arizona. Is it Surprise, Arizona, or Surprise, Arizona? <laughs> Bet you never heard that before. Uh, dear Craig and Jeff, a friend of mine has convinced me to hire her, but she's turning out to be a terrible employee. Should I fire her or just wait to see if she improves? <laughs> Are you waiting? <laughs> I'm waiting to see if you improve. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I put this hair on especially for you. Those kinds of comments. You know, us. Have you ever been to Surprise, Arizona? <laughs> well, you want me to say that to you? No. Have you ever been to Surprise, Arizona? I'm just, I'm asking you. Oh, you're you, asking me if I've ever been to have Surprise, you ever been is, to that su like, is that like code? Is that I like a... You know, I couldn't have made it more clear what I was asking. <laughs> I thought it was some kind of, uh, you know, homoerotic double on You ever been to Surprise, Arizona? As in, uh, you know, have you ever seen another man naked? That kind of thing. <laughs> like, you know, when a man takes off his pants and goes, Surprise, Arizona! <laughs> no one has ever taken off their pants and surprised all of Arizona. <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> Call oh. me, Arizona. <laughs> This is from Abigail in Fargo, North Dakota. You ever been in Fargo, North Dakota? I got a little place I like to go swimming, bake naked beach. You know. <laughs> <laughs> love, Dear love Craig, Fargo, North Dakota. What's love that? it. Love it. It's nice. It's a nice place. They, got, yeah. they, they made that film there. What was it called again? <laughs> Fargo? Yeah, it's a <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, my best friend recently moved into my apartment while she looks for a new place to live, but she stopped looking and is getting pretty comfortable. Is there a nice way to get her apartment hunting again? Hmm, yeah. Probably, uh, ask her to make a, a video with you where you both make out with each other. How many times does that work for you? Every time. <laughs> Every time. Boy, that surprised Arizona. <laughs> All right, we're going to get time for one more. One more and that's it. We're out of here. One right? more and that's it. One more and that's it. We're it. not. Time's up after All right, this well, one. Well, one more. We don't have time. We don't even have time for this one. Nope. So let's do it. All right, this is from Karen in Lake Forest, California. I don't know if you can tell from there, but Karen's a swan. Uh, uh, hey, Craig and Jeff, with Christmas just around the corner, what do you plan on asking Santa for this year? Uh, fingernail clippers. 
frozen chicken. We'll be right back, everybody. Welcome back, 49 of the 50 states in America, and surprise, Arizona. <laughs> see what I did? Yeah, yeah, I see how you used I that. I used it, didn't I? You used that, I surprise, used Arizona. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I, have you ever been to, uh, oh my God, you scared the hell out of me, Arizona? I'm kind of busy. Smaller. <laughs> I might get my we have to take a commercial show. break. Any ideas how we should get to it? We should ask her what to say. Is it he, Jeff, or is she? I haven't dared look, but the hair's nice. <laughs> She's got a set of nail clippers up her. Ay, caramba! Oh. <laughs> what the hell? He, look, look, come on. He, he's up. He's a kid. He doesn't understand. <laughs> There's nothing up there needs clipping, in my experience. <laughs> Jeff, get us to the commercial break. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this next commercial is gonna get us <laughs> out of the recession. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? That was the theme, you know, the, the, there. You did great. She did good. Yeah, you did really good. Well done. Thank you very much, fat cat. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Apparently, Ewan McGregor would like a go at winning the Golden Harmonica because he feels he's able to blow an organ better than anyone else. <laughs> let's just see. Let's just see how good he is. I'm not trying to tell you how to do it. You just do it whatever way you Can want you to do Can you give me a line read? Yeah, sure. But th there are no lines, though. What? No, we've started. Uh, Whoa. <laughs> Please state your name for the folks at home. My name is Angela Kinsey. You are not Australian, are you? Not this moment. I'm accused. I thought maybe I was Southern and done something wrong. <laughs> No, I was just asking you your name. I mean, I, you know. Yeah, I, no, my name's Angela Kinsey. Craig, you know. But you're that. the voice of the robot. Tonight. I am. What's up, robot? Yes. Yeah. 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 And may I say, uh, what a charming outfit you're wearing. A oh, lovely thank uh, you. little skirt there. I uh, got it in Edinburgh. Did I say it right? No? I've never been there. Right? Really? Where is it? It's in Scotland. <laughs> no? <laughs> Whoops, high school geography in America. No, Edinburgh, of course, is the capital of Scotland. Much yeah. like Reykjavik is the capital of Iceland. Smarty. <laughs> Did you know that? I know I didn't. That's why I went smarty. <laughs> I threw it on you. All right, well, uh, let me ask you then. What, uh, what are your plans for your robot voicing and personality tonight before we slip you into the pod? I got no plans. <laughs> gonna get loosey-goosey back there. So you're gonna do some kind of freeform dancing and salute from time to time, is I that it? I Back there where you won't see me. I'll be like, ooh, ooh. No, no, you're not back, you're not back there. You're, you're, you're taking backstage to a pod. Pod, right. right. Where I'm and you can put it into the pod and the, then yeah. it sucks your personality out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, you like it. It's really nice. Like and a big then, Yeah, kind of like that, except from elsewhere. And... <laughs> And then your personality is put inside the robot, and you become Jeff Peterson totally. for the evening. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. For sure, Jeff Peterson. <laughs> yeah. I'm on board, Craig. <laughs> You're a perky little spud, aren't I you? Am. All right, then. All right. Well, um, we'll give it a shot. Should I go get in the pod and get sucked into the... <laughs> Never mind. No, no, I, I liked it. Uh, okay. Just say it again a little slower. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> like him. <laughs> you ever been to Australia, Lady Jeff? Oh, good eye, Craig. I have, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I went down to Melbourne. I have a donut shop there. <laughs> 
thought you were Australian. Oh, sometimes I am, Craig, just for a minute. Is that legal? Sometimes they'll see I'm me. Oh, my God. <laughs> G'day. So you have one of them split personalities and one of them's from out of town? A little bit, a little bit. A split chip. Split chip? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, um, do, do you think you could... Um... Go to commercial? Yes! Yeah, oh, yes. now it's time for the commercial! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Don't just go blowing the commercial all over the place. Start again. Now, take your time. Ease it. Ease into it. It's not a chew toy. Go again. But now it's time for the commercial. Don't you ever like it? <laughs> Back where tonight we've got some very weird music to bring us back that was going thudum ba dum. <laughs> the hell was that? It's like it's like Law and Order. Play it again. <laughs> All right, perhaps it's not exactly like Law and Order. <laughs> How you doing over there? Lady Jeff, I forgot to ask. Uh, well, no, Lady Jeff Pearson with all sorts of different accents. All sorts of different things. Uh, Lady Jeff, you can call me Lady Jeff. I'm good, Craig. How are you? Do you know what this is like? It's like that show, uh, United States of Tara. Remember when she had all the different personalities and everyone was like, oh. Oh, sassy in the bedroom. Multiple personality lady. <laughs> no? Not so much? What? Awkward? That was, that was too much. He, okay. he's, he's off. I'm going to turn it down now. Yeah, yeah, it turns out. I like the Australian one, though. That was good. All right, then, mate. <laughs> Goodbye, last viewer in Australia. <laughs> Have you ever been to Australia? You got a little place there, right? Oh, yeah, I got a little place there. Got you were in Australia? Yeah. Really? No, I've got a car wash there. And, a car wash? Uh -huh. I got a you have your own lawn. car wash? What oh, are you yeah. doing in this dump? Oh, I got lots of businesses. Really? Mm -hmm. What other businesses do you have apart from a car wash? Um, nail salon. Nail um, salon? Uh, donut shop. Um, fry. Hey. Get your own fries. Just fries. That's it. That's a, that's a, t that's a great idea for, a, for a, you know, a store. Get your own fries. You just, there's a big lump of fries in the middle. You just, mm -hmm. Any toppings. Just come in. Lots hipsters. of toppings. You know, hipsters would love that. You know why? Because they're ironic. Oh, yeah. No, it's so very they'd be like, hip. oh. We love that. We don't actually eat them because we're thin and we all wear the same I can have a hat. But. <laughs> oh, yeah, mate. Hipsters. Bunch Girl with the dragon tattoo. Oh, man. What? Oh, sorry. What? What? No, it's an Australian word. It means something different over there. Let it go. Totally. Man. It means like a Let bingo. it go. <laughs> I'm sorry that you're not being welcomed with the full uh, open. Um... <laughs> Why, I'm excited. You can play, I see. Meow. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right, then. What time is it, Lady Jeff Pearson? Oh, it's time for tweets and emails. Tweets and emails, everybody. Play the thing. That's right. Sex me with your feet. <laughs> All right, this is from Gene in Bodega Bay in California. Ever been in Bodega Bay? Got a little oh, bit Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Been a minute, a marathon. I ran a marathon there. <laughs> you ran a marathon? Totes, in Bodega Bay? Totes. I totes did. Oh, totes. That means totally, <laughs> but shorter. Yeah. That is a tweetage word. Oh, t are you on the tweety? A little bit. <laughs> what little bit of you is on the treaty? Uh, my fingers. Ah. What? Uh. No, I'm, I'm touched down with that. <laughs> anyway, Jean in uh, Bodega Bay says, uh, Dear Craig, I'm a biker. Ooh. 
Whoa. Uh, I have a biker. I have the whole beard and tattoos look. So people sometimes whisper when I walk past them. How can I make my image appear more wholesome to the public? Well, it's not that. It's because you're walking past them and you're dressed as a biker. Mm. Bike past them and you won't hear them. <laughs> Yeah, no, or I would say wear a turtleneck. Yeah, wear a, tur wear, wear a turtleneck, shave the beard off, you know, get rid of the bike, get yourself a nice, you know, Camry. <laughs> Sound appealing? I thought not. All right. This is from Burt in Anchorage, Alaska. Have you ever been up to Alaska there? That's oh, yeah, it's really cold. Oh, it's very cold. It's, uh, you know, I watched the show on TV, Flying Wild Alaska. It's got Ariel Tweedo in it. You know Ariel Tweedo? Lovely girl. Sounds fabulous. <laughs> yeah, you, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Not a clue. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, Bert in Anchorage, Alaska says, Hi, Craig and Jeff. How many days can I wear the same pair of underwear before it gets weird? Ooh. <laughs> well, the, you know, in the lower 48, we go one day. We don't go days. But, uh, but I guess up there where it's cold, you don't want to be taking your underpants off too often, uh, unless you've got a reason. <laughs> I don't know. I think things get crusty when it's cold. Hey! Whoa, sorry. sorry. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, no, hard-packed ice is what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, permafrost, that's what you're talking about there, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bergs, icebergs moving around. As bergs. I like how you say that. Yeah, I'm not originally from L.A. A man of mystery. <laughs> not so much, really. All right, this is uh, from uh, Luke in Montreal, Quebec. Oh, Montreal! <laughs> Was that the ding from me winking about five minutes ago? <laughs> this is when you... Really, sort of a shoddy operation. Mm. We're gonna have a meeting. We're having a meeting after. I'm running it. <laughs> Whoa, we're really on fire now. Anyway, look at Montreal, Quebec says, uh, Dear Craig and Jeff, uh, besides being colder, how else can I, my city, distinguish itself from that other French speaking metropolis, Paris? <clears throat> well, uh, you, got, uh, you got ice hockey there? Do the French have that? Do they bug it? <laughs> I don't know, do they have ice hockey in, uh, in uh, France? I think they have ice hockey on... Sacre bleu! <laughs> Wait a minute! That was a German accent! Are you telling me the Germans are back in Paris? <laughs> that is bigger news than the story of Montreal. Of course, you don't want to mention that around here. People are pretty sensitive in this audience about that kind of thing. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. I'm sorry. We're in Paris now. <laughs> yes, but you are only uh, in Paris as tourists. Oh, yeah. We love the Eiffel Tower and the croissant. <laughs> we out of time? All right, I'll just do these. <laughs> <laughs> We're out of time, Dad. We'll be right back, everybody. Michael, I like that you kissed the uh, the Lady Jeff. Well, Lady Jeff has it going on. Yeah. yeah. Hello. <laughs> I'll just go. Okay, you go there and you do your thing. I'm going to stay right here. <laughs> I'll see you in a second. Don't say psst when I'm walking or people think I'm passing gas. Uh. My first guest. <laughs> what did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> the rat's fine. It's just a photograph of a rat. We added sound effects. It's all right. It's not as scary. Nah, it's all right. Not so much. You did, I thought you did very well. Yeah. Yeah, you did very well. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Hufflepuff. 
Uh, so I thought I was a little squirrely, and I said the F-bomb, and now my mom knows. <laughs> Your mom already knew. Don't yeah. think. Now, people think their parents never swore back in the day. They swore. They swore. Do you know in the olden times they swore? They did. Yeah, like, like you, what, what did man first say when he invented fire? Burnt his hand. He went, uh oh. You know what I mean? That's, what else would you say? I don't know. I did do it as a German, though. That's true. And it is a German word. Yeah. Yeah. So is that. Ah. Yeah. You know what happened there when I went like that? And you, you pulled my finger a little bit. I did. did you see that? I did. Yeah. You didn't do anything. Thank oh, you. Yes, I did. <laughs> No, I didn't. So that's it. We're kind of done. That's it. Sayonara. No. no, no, no. no, no, no. Resist the temptation to please these people with a big show business ending. Try and just let the show peter out quite naturally like oh, a bad relation. I can do that. I can do that. I can let it peter out. Any point now, the, the, the CBS are going to become so uncomfortable that mm -hmm. they'll put a big bit of music on the end and then everybody will know it's the end of the show. Okay. Get ready for the infomercial. Right. <laughs> or in the case of the Australian viewers, uh... Dingo? Yeah. <laughs> Night, everybody. Yeah, you can, you can warm up if you want. You can warm up a little bit. I said, get your diaphragm moving. <laughs> That's that bit, isn't it? Or is it a birth control thing, a diaphragm? <laughs> Both? It's both? I think it's both. Right, well, uh, all right, don't overdo it. You don't want to, what we do is, we, uh, uh, the Jason Schwartzman here tonight, everybody, is going to be the voice and personality of the robot Jeff. Now, what we'll do is we'll take you backstage, put you in a pod. <laughs> <laughs> your personality is then sucked from your body. Okay. That's not the bad bit. Uh, okay. okay. There's no bad bit to it. No. And put in the robot where then you will become Jeff the robot for the evening. Okay, okay. He doesn't have a beard. Okay, but, uh... So yeah, your, your beard's probably going to get sucked off as well, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, I'm ready for it. Is there any... you have any words of advice? Yeah, yeah. You probably want to say how awesome I am uh, every okay. now and again. Okay, okay. That's okay. Come forward, come forward. Okay. Because... Because now... Now, if you back up a little bit, yeah, so we look sure, like yeah. we are the same height. Yeah! And we're talking to each other, and yeah, now it's yeah, Lord yeah, of the Rings. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, we have to go to Mordor. <laughs> Yes, Mordor. Take this. I can't go with you. You're too tall. We'd never let. They never let us in. Take this. What? What is it? It's my. It's my hand. Ooh. Oh my God. No, you do that. I... That's awkward. Turn. No. Uh, no. Well, oh, ah, sorry. Get... Ow. Uh, now, how long have you been feeling this sensation? Turn your head. And go. About uh, five seconds. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm afraid uh, I've got very bad news for you. What is it? Well, you have an uh, ingrown testicle. Can you pluck it? I didn't say it had feathers. Oh, sorry. I didn't say it had, I didn't say it had feathers on it. I said it was ingrown. Oh. And soon it will take over your entire body and, and you'll become nothing but testicle. Do you have any... Uh, Advice? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but not about this. Uh, so, anyway, you're going to be the robot. Oh, are you still doing this? High yeah. five. Oh, no. I can move back to you. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, let's dance. Okay, which way? Ah, you lead. Wait, wait, wait. See, now, what is this tick audiences have about clapping for the most crap thing? <laughs> I don't know. I, you, I, I'm not used to being in front of an audience every day, and mm. I love it. Uh, but uh, I know my... I, I, I love it. I want... I, I, I'm used to it, and I don't care for it. <laughs> this is exciting. You step forward here. I like this. Where do I look now? All right. <laughs> This should be our album cover. Yeah. What's, what's our band called? It's a joke. It's a joke. It, it was a joke. I, it, it was a joke about a terrible thing. You ever, you ever smoked? Uh, how do you think I got here, Craig? <laughs>
Smoking? <laughs> no. I'll tell you about it later. I see. This whole I'll tell you about it later really works against you in the sidekick capacity, you know what? <laughs> That's right, now you're good. <laughs> yeah, ah ha ha, you're the man, Craig. You're the man, Craig. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, howdy. I love you. Yeah, that's not bad. That's, that's all right. It's a little on the nose, though. I like you. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of the same thing, but not as good. Uh, do you want to throw to the commercial break? you want to try that? I'm going to try it. All right, you, you're going to try it. <clears throat> You'll be good at it. Is Craig, that you clearing your throat, or was it that guy over there again? <laughs> Craig, tonight's commercials oh, right. are brought to you by ExoSleep. <laughs> Just usual crap. <laughs> Except the robot sidekick seems to be a little shy. <laughs> is it shyness? Is it nervousness? Is, is the pod not working? Were you not it's... sucked out properly? What's happening? No, I, I got sucked per, uh, properly. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's more that I just, uh, you know, I, I want to do well for you and, and for everyone to my right. <laughs> He doesn't mean all of you, he just means lesbian. Ro, you just mean lesbian. You just yeah, mean yeah, lesbian. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, just those four right here. To yeah, 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 the, yeah. Yeah, the ladies of lesbian row. Yeah, I'm here. Uh... Yeah. People often say to me, Craig, how do I get to lesbian row? And I say, practice, practice, practice. <laughs> you want to do a quick mouth organ, uh, you know? Yes, let's go. All right, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like that, did you? Yes, sir. Yeah, you're coming out of your pod a little now. That's yeah. good. Just, uh, yeah, relax, enjoy it. Go with the flow. Feel your way through. Uh, take off your pants. Well, how can I take off my pants? If I take them off, I can't put anything in my pants. Yeah! <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> well, there you are. Uh... <laughs> So, what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's time for tweets and emails. Tweets and emails! Hey, Jeff, you want to get tweeted with me tonight? Well, all right. Hell to the metal will get me soon. Drag me out of bed and gag me with a spoon. I need your love, I can't relax. Without your touch, I'm groaning to the max. So, he met with your tweet, man. Email time, okay? All right. This is from Chris in Kansas City in Kansas, uh, who says, Dear Craig and Jeff, I feel guilty when I walk down the street and ignore people handing out flyers. How should I handle these situations? Well, don't ignore them, you rude bastard. <laughs> Take their flyer and do what other people do. You go, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, brah, you're absolutely. <laughs> like that, just like that. What do you do when someone hands you a flyer? I... Just walk by them. Okay. <laughs> this is from Janine in Plano, Texas. Ever been to Plano, Texas? Like to go to Plano, Texas? Got a little place there. Like to go swimming, get naked, throw pizza of people, take LSD, maybe stick things <sighs> in your pants. I, uh, I dated someone from that place. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Maggie? Really? You really did date someone from... I did. I did. And her, her family ruined it. <laughs> what did they do? Discover your secret? Don't tell anybody about my secret. I won't. You can later if you want. Okay. As soon as I make one up, I'll be telling everybody. 
<laughs> anyway, Janine says, Hey, Craig, I've been noticing you've been wearing some fancy socks lately. Any reason? What's fancy about that? <laughs> hey, here's a tip, by the way. Hey, here's a tip. Uh, 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 guys, if you want girls to find you attractive, <laughs> when, when they're looking at your leg, because be, their eye will be drawn by the sock, pull it down a little bit, and that mark that the elastic makes... <laughs> This is from Darren in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, I've never heard of the place. You ever been there? Love it. Okay. Love it. Love it. Okay. <laughs> this is a dear GP, the Ferguson Secretariat! Who's that at the door? Uh, Dear GP and the Virgo, I met this insanely hot girl in my anthropology class and I asked her out. The problem is she wants to go dancing and I'm terrible. How can I avoid ruining this? Well, um... <laughs> you're not terrible at dancing. Even if you think you're terrible, you're not terrible at dancing. The people who are terrible at dancing are the people that think they are good at dancing. <laughs> They're like, oh, get that loose. Oh. is going to put her off. If you say, I'm a really terrible dancer, but I think you're sensational, so I'm willing to make a fool of myself, she's yours. And then... <laughs> you know, Craig, can I ask you a question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you say? I've always wondered, when it does come to dancing, yeah. I, I'm not a great dancer when it comes to sexy dancing, you know, like really sweeping someone off their feet, but I can dance funny. I can do imitations of dances and make people laugh. But ultimately, does a woman want to be swept off her feet and have a great dance, or do they like to laugh? Is laughing sexy? That was an uh, in-room email from Jeffrey Peterson from Los Angeles, California. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I think that the, the, whole, the whole fallacy here, the, full, the, whole, the, 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 the reason this is all wrong, is because it says, do women like this or do women like that? Which is ridiculous. Some women like this and some women like that. They are individuals. The way to a woman's heart is listen to the woman and think which, you know... You see what I did? You see? I was right there. They were right there. They were right there. If I'd have lifted up my sock and done that, they were like, oh, what fight like? No. Women are the worst. Ugh. Actually, they're not. They're not. They're the best. <laughs> I agree with everything you say. <laughs> I agree with everything you said. We're out of time. Uh. <laughs> What's happening now, Jeff? Now, we are going to go to more commercials. Don't say it like that, like it's a bad thing. That's <laughs> Sorry, let me start over. Okay. All right, now we're going to go to some more commercials. Yeah. Brought to you by Sexy yeah. Dance. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> what do you think, man? Did you enjoy it? I loved it. I thought it was uh, what really... What was the best part? When you were in the pod getting that thing sucked out of you? Uh, coming back out, actually, was great. Co coming back out of what? Of Jeff. Oh, his body, yeah. of his bones. Oh, yeah. Coming no, back the out. pod. Coming out of the pod. Yeah, coming when out. When we get you out using the knives and hot butter. I loved it. And, uh, and I thought uh, you were great. And I thought Robin Williams Robin was incredible. Hot, didn't Robin look well? He looks great. You know, what, you know why he looks so well? Clean shaven. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> you know, it's something I like in someone who's got a pretty boyish face, as I like a clean shaved... <laughs> Nothing worse than a young, handsome <clears throat> man <laughs> with a giant, <laughs> herbicious. Herbicious? Herbicious, yeah. Herbicious. It's That's a cross worst. between herbs and vicious. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, they're, uh, they're very. Have you ever been. Um, have you ever smoked uh, herb? Um, Mary Jane? Marijuana? Marijuana. Uh, no, you haven't, of course, for legal reasons. No, 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 I don't uh, do it. I don't actually, I, I, I don't like that stuff. No, I don't either. I don't care for it. I prefer huffing paint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do too. 
It's what all the celebrities are doing to be cool, kids. Yeah. It's not. It's not. I love any, you know, I love all those inhalants. Glue, paint. Um, those things that you get when your nose is blocked up. What are they called again? Vicks? Uh, no, the... Uh, yeah, the, I think they're called that. You unscrew that, it, you put it in your you nose. You unscrew it, put it in your I nose. I love that. What was that? Cocaine. What is that called? Cocaine. Oh, yeah, cocaine. Yeah. Cocaine, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's the best. Yeah. That is the best stuff. Yeah, it is. So, the beard then, is that going to stay, do you think? Well, uh, I just have it for professional reasons. Um, um, You're doing porn? Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing some porn. And it's, it's, uh, you're doing it for, it's for a part then? Yeah, it's for a part, and uh, then I'll shave it off. It, you know, I always think about beards, and this is why I don't grow one. It's because it tells everyone what your pubes look like. <laughs> you have a, there, it's true. Right no, there, true. you say. It is true. I mean, if you've, got, if you've got ginger here, it's ginger down below. Is that right? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And if you're graying in your beard, snow in the basement. Uh, um... Yeah. Snowing in the basement. Snow in the basement, yeah. That's I hate snow, that. snow in the roof, snow in the basement, yeah. Do some people um, shovel the snow out of their basement, if you know what I'm saying? Do some people who darken it back. Oh, you mean. <clears throat> do they. Uh, I, you know, I, I don't know if you can. Do people do that? What, things. dye things down there? Yeah. Well, what's the point, man? I don't know, but do they? I wonder. I don't know. I bedazzle. What I do is I bedazzle. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It draws the eye. Wow. Yeah. You have a bedazzler. I do. Wow. Speaking of Peter Cook. Oh, yeah, he, he did a movie called Bedazzle. Yeah, he's amazing. One of the best movies ever made. You tied it all together like it was a real show there. I've been thinking about that one for about for a long hour. time. <laughs> well, we're done here. I think, I think you were excellent. I'm, it's always nice to see you. It's always great to see you. And, uh, maybe... and now we, everybody knows what your pubes look like. Well, there's always room for surprises. Think about that <laughs> as you finish your reefer. Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs> now, some of you may know uh, Jeff Peterson, my robot skills and sidekick, has had many different voices over the last couple of weeks. And so I thought I would tell you tonight the voice of Jeff will be none other than Tom Cruise, everybody. <laughs> right, no, 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 I want to tell you that, but it's not true. <laughs> We did ask Tom uh, to cruise his people if they'd like to be the voice of uh, Jeff, but his people said he was too busy and that uh, Tom hates my guts. Uh, which is just a typical Hollywood publicist telling lies to make me feel better. But... So we didn't have time to book anyone else, so I guess Jeff just won't have a voice tonight. Sorry, pal. That's the way it's going to be. Wait, you're awing a mute appliance. I mean, we don't have anyone in the studio with a commanding vocal presence that I could call on at such sh sh short notice. There's no Craig, way... Uh, Craig? Craig? <laughs> Hello? Hey, you, you guys hearing that too, right? <laughs> Who, who's that? It's Shadow. Shadow Stevens, the announcer on the show. Oh, yeah, yeah Shadow Stevens. Uh, you really do have a great voice. Are you, are you here? <laughs> I'm everywhere, Craig. <laughs> So you're still hiding down in Mexico until those lawyers get the charges dismissed, are you? It's possible. I can't get into the details, but rest assured, them hobos had it coming. <laughs> All right, fine. I really want to hear about it. What I want to know is, uh, can you do can you do a Jeff's voice or not? Can you do it? Well, I, th I think so. Let's see. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> How's this? Whoa, is this okay? yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's good. Is this Jeffy enough yeah, for you? Yeah. Have you ever noticed how blue my eyes are, Craig? How they smolder with an undying love for you? If only my arm was longer. Hey, hey! <laughs> Getting a little creepy there, pal. So I'm doing it right. Yeah, absolutely. It's good, yeah. Jeff always is a little creepy. In your pants. In your pants! <laughs> it's going to be all So what do you think? Is it, uh, you ready to try the, uh, can you, I mean, you've got the voice for it. You're going to do the commercial break announcement. Are you ready to go? Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the greatest commercials in the history of commercials. Award-winning innovation inspired by the greatest talent on television. The boss for the sauce, Craig Ferguson. That'll do. Well, what's going on on the Friday night show? We, uh, Jeff Peterson has a very announcery voice tonight, right? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I like it. It's very quiz show. I feel like I'm Drew Carey and you're that guy that you, that's new, I think. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, that's good. I like it. Uh, what's the average retail price of that cup on your desk? $9.95. $9.95? I would have said higher, wouldn't have used you to about it. For copyright reasons, we can't continue in this vein. <laughs> All right, uh, you know what time it is, don't you? Well, let's do this first. Let's let's have a try. See if you can do it. Now you're just being patronizing. <laughs> yep, yeah, right. All right. What time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? Well, let me look at it this way. It's time. If you're a twerp or a twit, it'll be a real treat when you write into Craig an email or a tweet. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ha! Yeah, all right. <laughs> Do the thing. <laughs> This is from Shane in Hampton, in Hampton in Virginia. You ever been to Hampton, Virginia? Got a little place there, like to go swim, get naked, throw beads at people, take heroin, something like that? What, what do you do? No, oh, sure, I've got a little timeshare down there with Buffy the pool boy. <laughs> a little vacation getaway. You, you should come over, we'd do a little cribbage. <laughs> it's right cribbage. down the street from the electric barf. <laughs> you're, over, you're, what, you're overwhelming me. I'm so ashamed. No, it's all right. Ah, uh, you had me at cribbage. <laughs> uh, yeah. That should be your that. That can be your thing. <laughs> uh, the extra bit. Let's try it again. Uh, yeah, I like it. It's good. <laughs> uh, 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 dear Craig and Jeff, my friends really want to get, uh, get want me to get a Twitter account, but I have nothing to say. Do you think I should get one? Yeah, it never stops anyone else. Yeah, why not? <laughs> You've got a Twitter account, haven't you, Jeff? Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is from Joe in New Orleans, Louisiana. Ever been out in New Orleans? Got a little place there, like to get naked, go swimming, throw beads at people, go to the Mardi Gras, have a nice time, uh, enjoy the poor boy sandwiches. We're going to have a little... I got a little uh, timeshare down there at Pump Up the Ham. It's uh, one of the suburbs. Pump Up the Ham? Yeah. Is that the name Pump of a place? Up. Pump Up the Ham? Pump Up the Ham. It's I right love out of... that. Pump Up the Ham. Pump it up. It's right outside of Cocklebitty. Cockle... Cockleberry? Cocklebitty. Co cockle... Cocklebitty. Cocklebitty? Yeah. Suburb. Cocklebitty's a suburb of New Co Orleans? Yes. I thought you it was did... a... I thought how many times have you been down there? <laughs> well, well right. how many times have you been down Cocklebitty? Yes. <laughs> More times than I care to remember. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe in New Orleans, Lisa says, uh, Dear Craig, Jeff, and Secretary! says, uh, hey, Craig, Jeff, Secretary, my oldest daughter just started dating a boy, and uh, started dating, and is seeing a boy I don't like. How do I put the fear of God into the kid? 
Shotgun. <laughs> when it comes over, you know, just be cleaning your shotgun. <laughs> or a big Bowie knife. <laughs> And then whenever he tells you a story while you're cleaning the knife, you go, <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is from Lou in Athens, Georgia. Uh, you ever been to Athens? I don't, uh, <laughs> uh, dear GP in the Fergs, uh, my ex fiance invited me to her engagement party. Whoa. Should I be rude and skip it or risk the awkwardness? It's not rude to skip your fiancés and get your ex fiancés. That's not rude. It's uh, self-preservation, man. No. <laughs> Don't go. You, you just... You, uh, am I keeping someone up from something backstage? <laughs> is there some kind of thing? Is there a convention coming through here in a minute? Is that what it is? Will CBS rented the place out. I can remember. Trainers coming in in a minute? Is that, what it is? <laughs> is that what we got going on out there? <laughs> Yeah, I'm just talking until security can go back there and see what the hell's going on. Right, Jeff? Absolutely. Totally. Absolutely. You are the man. <laughs> what, what? Uh, this is from Bess in Minneapolis in Minnesota. It says, Dear Craig and Jeff, lately my son has been asking about the birds and the bees. How should I explain the facts of life to him? Oh, don't skip all the birds and bees. Go straight to penises and vaginas. Nah. <laughs> You know, you try, you know, don't frighten the kid. Don't frighten the kid. You, you, you say, you know, uh, what happens is the penises all live in a hive. <laughs> and then they fly out and they, they go to the flowers and they pick up the honey and they take it back. <laughs> and then, then book his therapist's appointment. <laughs> well, we're out of time. I don't have any more time for this crap. So, uh, what do you think? I think it's time for something else. All right. <laughs> what is it time for, then? It's time for the greatest commercials in the history of commercials! Yeah! What did we learn on the show tonight? Greatest commercials! <laughs> did you have a nice time, Shadow? Did you enjoy yourself being the robot? I've got gas. <laughs> I've got to cut down on the crystal meth. <laughs> I'm 27. Crystal meth gives you gas? I didn't know that. I mean, I knew oh, it yeah. made your teeth fall out and everything, but I didn't... Implants. <laughs> yes! Yes! That works out fine. We'll see you next week, everybody. All right, so run it by me again. You're not Jeff Peterson, you're Chloe Banderas. I am under the reboot. So, for now, I am the voice of Antonio Banderas, at least the famous brother. <laughs> Chloe. <laughs> All right, so, you, yeah. so you're the, you have the voice and personality... Yeah, so you have the voice and personality of Chloe Banderas. Si. That's right. The least famous brother of Antonio Banderas. Yeah, I can't get any endorsement deals. <laughs> I don't... But Antonio Banderas doesn't have famous brothers... Oh, oh, yeah, you get like a whole bunch of them. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He's no. Antonio Banderas. That's, that's not, it's not like, you know, uh, Tito and Regis yeah, and all that. Two, that's, you just named two of them. The two there? Yeah. Really? Tito and Regis they're Banderas? All, yeah, they're the ones who have the sexy abs and everything, yeah. <laughs> no, I think Antonio Banderas, he's got the sexy abs. Well. Oh, he's amazing, he's amazing. I'm very blessed to live in his crawl space. <laughs> It's, you live in his crawl That's right. Yeah, that's, that's exactly right. I, I, you know, I just scurry about down there, you know. Uh, can I ask you about your hat? Okay, see, si. we call it sombrero, see? Si. It's not a sombrero. Yes. A sombrero is a large uh, hat that shields you right. from the sun. This is a kind of Disneyland. Ay, caramba! <laughs> no part of what you just said will ever be on TV. <laughs> I uh, know, I, I think the Disneyland part will make it on. Maybe, maybe, just maybe. No, but it, this is a, it's a bullfighter's hat. It's, it's, yeah, it is. We wait, call wait, it for a uh, It's stuck to your head. That's right, because... Wait it, a minute, is that underpants <laughs> under here? Stop it. <laughs> I had a crazy night last night. You, you have underpants for brains? <laughs> that makes two of us. Hey! How dare you? How dare I? How dare you? 
<laughs> well, just because you say it like that doesn't make any sense. You go, how dare I, how dare you? It doesn't, make it, it doesn't make it mean anything. You've got underpants for brains. Yeah, I know, and I say, that's them to you. <laughs> no, I didn't get any of that. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yes, every hat in Spain is called a sombrero. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, I don't even yes. think I don't even think you've ever even been to Spain. Okay, okay I make Portugal. It's close. Oh no, wait, it's but Portugal. Of, no, not, six not, one. You know, Portugal's a completely different language. That's Portuguese. Yeah, speak some to me if you know it so well. Okay. Yeah. Fala português. Oh my goodness! I, you, I thought he was bluffing, but he had a <laughs> he had Portuguese up his sleeves. <laughs> Well, you, just because you rhyme for something doesn't mean oh, that... Oh, the audience liked it. <laughs> yeah, but they're, they're only... Wait. No, wait, they like... No. Lesbians. The audience is only siding with you because they hate me. <laughs> you know that lesbians love rhyming. <laughs> yeah, I noticed the lesbians hate me tonight. What the hell? Uh, it's the hair. <laughs> hey, what's wrong with my hair? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just you, saying. You clearly know... I'm just saying, if I did not swing the way that as you, I would say, what's up with the guy's hair? <laughs> what the hell is my hair? I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, it look good. It look good from that one angle. What well, angle? I'll, I'll, I'll do yeah, that. Do the whole show like that. Like this? That looks great. All right. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. And I like going to uh, big box stores. No, not, not warehouse retailers. I'm talking about stores that cater to women with large vaginas, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a joke! It's a joke! It's a joke! Oh, calm down! Oh, now we get a reaction out of Oh, finally, lesbian row! <laughs> Do you like going to the big box stores there, uh, Chloe Banderas? Oh, me gusta so much, Craig C. <laughs> is that a real uh, Spanish matador hat you're wearing, or that, is that kind of Mickey like, Mouse? Yes. In Spain, we kill the cats in a corrida. <laughs> it's magnificent, yes. No, you don't, we, look, we're, we're, we don't kill cats. Of course not. No. Of course not. <laughs> of course we don't do that. Yeah, we would never, never you don't, we don't shoot cats. No, we, we don't, don't do that. Anyway, mistreat. We would never do that. No. We would never do that. <laughs> no one anyone's looking. <laughs> Look, people, if people think we're even joking we're about... Not. I know, people for the fabulous treatment of animals will get so mad. Yeah, they'll, get, they'll get mad. And you know, I'm a big supporter of PETA. Of I think they do great work and I don't want them thinking I'm in any way suggesting people be That's mean right. to cats. You've been a big supporter for years. <laughs> you heard what I say. Yeah, but I don't understand what you It said. means you need a big thing to hold your genitals. Oh! I see, so That's I, right. I have, why do I need a big thing to... Look, big shoes, big feet, you know the rest. <laughs> <laughs> big shoes, big feet, shoot cats? That's, that, <laughs> that's right. No, no. No, but you get... <laughs> what? That's something that just... You can't say that. I this did is not... the CBS Tiffany Network. This is the place where we have all the classy pro... <laughs> I, I can't even say it. You can't say it with a straight face. Yeah, what? You can't say it with a straight face. I can't say it with a straight face. <laughs> say it with a straight face. A what face? Say it with a straight face. <laughs> no, I didn't get any of that. What did he say? <laughs> you know, the weird thing is I didn't understand myself. <laughs> Well, that's probably a good thing, because if you don't understand you, then there's a good chance the censor won't understand you, that's and right. we, we might get some of the <laughs> on the air tonight. <laughs> Gonna be a real short one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, would you like to take us to the um, commercial? This is the first part of the show. We go to commercial. Yeah, you know. <laughs> that thing's going over there, old uh, underpants. For, but why have you got underpants in, under your hat? It's just, you know, sometimes I like to stuff. 
<laughs> no, I like to stuff too, but I don't wear underpants under my hat. Yeah, but you just like to stuff to show everybody. I got a big brain up there. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't get any of that. You get any of that? If there's one thing I hate, it's an accent. <laughs> you and me también. That means you and me both. Oh, OK. Is that what it means, también? También. También. It's like ambient with a T. Ah. I do like Ambien with a nice uh, cup of tea. A nice yes. cup of tea and Ambien. Oh. And you never have to watch the Groggy. <laughs> The drink of kings and queens. But now being in your tea? Oh, it's the best. Oh, it's lovely. That's what the queen drinks, you know. Ah, oh, that's right. I'll just have an ambient. Oh. Yeah, but she looks great. She does look good. Do you know what age the queen is? The queen is 100? 109. 109 years old. 109 yeah. years old. Yeah. 109. 109. 109. <laughs> Is that true? Did you know that number? You can count on me for accurate numbers in Spanish. <laughs> Pre pretty soon they're going to make an app out of me. <laughs> what time is it, Chloe Banderas? It's time to read emails and tweets. <laughs> From, uh, this is from Marina in Frankfurt in Germany. You ever, uh, you ever been to Frankfurt, Germany? You, you know anything about oh, Frankfurt? Yes, they got marvelous sausages. <laughs> they do have marvelous oh, sausages. Marvelous. You know what they call They call them wieners. That's like right. we, like our slang name for penis. Yeah, they yeah. call them sausages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? And they stuffed our mouth with them. <laughs> Are you okay? Is everything okay? Everything's fine okay. with me. Everything okay with you? Everything's maravillosa. <laughs> yes, everything's maravillosa with me, too. I'll write it down for you later. <laughs> what, wieners? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I write, every time I get an email from Germany, I have to speak in a German accent. That doesn't bother you, does it? No, claro que sí. <laughs> Dear Craig und Jeff, or, you know, Chloe Banderas. <laughs> I am single and all of my friends are constantly trying to hook me up with somebody. Are they being nice or are they patronizing me? <laughs> you are German, so I'll say this in a way you'll understand. Lighten the Achtung. up. <laughs> <laughs> but if you swear with an accent, that's what brings the lesbians round to your side. That's how you get them. Yeah. That's how you get them. That's how you get them. <laughs> Hector in Hamilton, New Jersey said, Hey, Craig and Jeff. Oh, uh, Chloe Mendoza. My girlfriend can't sleep with the TV off, and I can't sleep with the TV on, which results in constant arguments. What can I do? Oh, sleep with a man. Uh... <laughs> Or sleep with a man who's on TV. <laughs> Two birds. Two birds, one stone. This is, <laughs> this is from Marjorie in Montreal, Quebec. Uh, dear Craig and Chloe Banderas, my brother is about to be 26 and he won't move out of the house and I want his bedroom. Any advice on how to make him move out? Mmm... Uh, I, I usually, usually I, I, what I do is I throw a commercial, but that doesn't, that's not going to work in this circumstance. We, we, I just say, I'm just, we got to fumigate the place, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, there you are, tell your brother who's lived there his whole life, uh oh, we've got to fumigate the place, <laughs> you're going to have to move out. Yeah, yeah. We're so sorry. <laughs> Right. It works every time. That's what, how Antonio got me out of the cross bit for a while. <laughs> yeah, well, th it then is. it might work. Then it might work. Yeah. All right, this is from Mark in Aloha in Oregon. I didn't know there was a town called Aloha in Oregon. It means hello and goodbye, Oregon. Yes, it does. It means hello, Oregon, if you're Hawaiian. 
What about that? Hawaiian? Are you okay? Yes, I'm, say I'm saying Hawaiian in a, in a Hawaiian accent. Hawaiian? <laughs> you're saying Hawaiian and then you're choking on cat fur. I, no, I That's never choked. I have never choked on a cat and I have never shot a cat. <laughs> I, look, I love all God's creatures, except cats. <coughs> it's a joke, I love cats. <laughs> all right, this is from Maureen in Portland in uh, Maine. Because there's two Portlands, there's one in Oregon and one in Maine. That's right. Yeah, well, this right, one, this, this yeah. Is, yeah, is there an aloha in Maine? That's right. I didn't know that. that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dear Craig and Chloe, my partner and I are looking to expand our sexual experiences and would like to try a threesome. Any suggestions on where to find that third person? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know where you'd find anyone. Uh -huh. <laughs> but, uh, well, you ever been in a threesome now? Ah, uh, yeah, but it didn't turn out so good. <laughs> really? What happened? I was, you know, I was kind of the fifth wheel. <laughs> it was a, so it wasn't a threesome then, it was a five something? Yeah, it was a group thing and I came, I was really late. It was, I didn't know it was fall back. <laughs> so I was like an hour. Oh! I see. So you didn't like bring an your hour clock late. back and then yeah. you were... Oh, and then I was... You know, that's so embarrassing, isn't it? That is awkward because yeah. everybody's already going and then yeah. you've got to be like, hey, I'm sorry I'm so late. Uh, <laughs> and then you don't know where... You have to yeah, find you your way in. in. Yeah. It's like a crazy game of people Jenga and you don't know where to yeah. fit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, yeah. Yeah, I know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> It's just, it's awkward, you know what I mean. Did you say people Jenga? That's right. Jenga made with a, just a bunch of bodies in a, in a stack up in a cheap hotel. Yeah, I understand. I yeah. understand what it is. Yeah. That's why I say. Why? Why are you not looking over there? I think, I think my face is broken. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Oh, no, there it goes. Oh, I'm back. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. We'll, we'll take a break. We'll try and fix that. Uh, we'll be right back. to the big show where, um, well, it's not that big a show, really. It's a pretty small show, but we have that. <laughs> Buenas noches. Take that, everyone else. <laughs> With your bands and your publicity machines and your... We don't, we don't need those guys. You know... We Actually, we do. We do need those guys, ah. but, but we don't have them. But what we do have... What do we have? I'm trying to remember. Not, not much, really. Not much. <laughs> each other? It's nice. We got each other. Got each other. Got each other. Uh, faith in the human spirit. <laughs> yeah, we got faith yeah. in the human spirit. That's right. That's right. You got your health. <laughs> You've got your, uh... I got a battery that's dying down over yeah. here, actually. <laughs> In that case, let me introduce my first guest this evening. What Jesus. did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> Don't say anything about the mouse. I won't say nothing about the mouse. It's between you and me. <laughs> no, no one will ever know. No one has to know. No one has to know. No one has to know. This is the best, literally the best show you ever did. I think you and I both know that's not true. <laughs> it was pretty good, though. Yeah, it was it pretty was good. It was. Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs> do, do this. Do this expression. <laughs> how, how, how was that? Yeah, that's pretty good. I can always tell when it's you, Chloe Banderas because you're wearing your hat 
Da or right. as they say in Spanish, sombrero. That's right. I also have a sexy neckerchief. <laughs> have you ever run from the bulls? I've, I chased Dennis Rodman for a couple of years. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> but that, 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 that count? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I guess. Yeah, and then Scotty Pippen, he won't call me back, but he, uh, I was... Not Scotty Pippen. Let me ask you, what's yeah. Rodman up to? You don't see much of him these you days. You don't see much of him. Let's see. He married Carmen Electra, and then he put on a dress, and then he put, what's that makeup? Well, no, 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 that's Dave Navarro oh, you're right, talking right, right. about. <laughs> So I get them all confused up in my Rolodex of Carmen Electra's exes. Well, well, let me ask you, though. Do you think, you think Dave Navarro would have done well in the Chicago Bulls? Oh, he's so little. Yes, he's I so know, but... little and guapo. <laughs> he would be a great distraction. They could send him out and say, like, Scotty Pippa, you go left. And everybody and, would be like, who's that handsome Chicago Bull there? And they'd be like, yes, hey. who's this one with the no shirt and it's a beautiful tattoo? No, you got, you got to wear a shirt. The NBA rules clearly state you got to wear a shirt. Uh, right, and perhaps a neckerchief. <laughs> Why do you sing neckerchief like that? Why do you just say neckerchief? You have to go, neckerchief. Be See how good it feels? You know the weird thing is, the minute I did it, I started to enjoy it. I a little bit better. Oh, can I sing it again? <laughs> Necker Necker you are going to get an endorsement deal with Neckerchief. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know they were a company. Yeah. I mean, I, oh, they're huge. Back where I come from, they're huge. Yeah, I can yeah. imagine. Yeah. Where, where do you come from again? You know, Barcelona. Oh, Bar Barcelona, yeah. Oh, you sing that Barcelona as well? Let me yeah. sing that. Barcelona. Oh, no reason to humiliate me. That was beautiful, yes. <laughs> I wasn't humiliating no, you. I was you, joining in with you your... You were hot-dogging a little bit, yeah. No, no. I, yeah. I was joining in with the good-natured high jinx no, of my Spanish friend. You were singing like an angel, and you were showing off a little bit. <laughs> well, a little bit. I, I went a bit Mariah. Yeah, poquito. A little Mariah. That's, oh, that's nice. Look at that. Oh, look at this guy. So, you think you can Craig? <laughs> Coming on CBS. So you think you can crack? <laughs> you should crack it tonight, then. <laughs> yep. Show me that again. Oh, that rope is very scratchy. <laughs> oh, I broke my knee. <laughs> What kind of underwear do you wear, uh, Chloe Banderas? It's Chloe Banderas tonight, I can tell by the hat. See, si, see, si, you can tell by the sombrero that I'm wearing, it's me. Yeah. Yes, I like to wear something that's breathable. <laughs> you like to wear something that's washable? Breathable. Oh, breathable! I'm no. sorry, I have a great deal of difficulty so, with your accent. No, no, that's okay, but that's so... I usually wear, like, live animal fur, because the animal's still breathing. <laughs> to wear live animals? Yeah. Just like, <laughs> a, a couple squirrels to make sure they're still breathing so I'm breathable down there. Is that legal to put live animals in your pants? In this country? <laughs> <laughs> there, there is a small but underground group of us. <laughs> you, I can get you membership. Is that that Richard Gere thing? That's... Oh! Hey! Whoa! I, I say Frio! I say Frio! I, I thought that was just an urban legend. I say Frio! That crossed the line, and beside it was Rod Stewart. No, no, not Rod Stewart, man. I met Rod Stewart. He doesn't have anything going on. Well, he might, no. actually. Just a whole bunch of squirrels. Yeah, it might, it might about. have been that. Yeah, no. it, I feel bad for these woodland creatures out of their natural habitat, surrounded by... It's a good life for them. You Is know? it? Yes. It gives them, give them a sense of purpose. <laughs> you know? Yeah, instead of aimlessly wandering around a forest gathering nuts. That's right. I will They'll be that wandering one... around nuts gathering a forest. That's right. <laughs> I was going to let that sit there, but you wrapped it up nicely. Oh, thanks very much. Yeah. Would you uh, care to take us to the commercial break? This is my favorite part of the show, the first break. <laughs> Hit me with some 
some of that hot Spanish mouth organ. <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> All right, that was great. Yeah. I know what you're all thinking at home. Oh, come on, Craig. More Philip Larkin. <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> right? Play. <laughs> uh... Oh, what is time for? Yeah. Is it the time when you say what? Yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do the thing. You know, when you say, what the, I'll, are you ready? I'll say yeah. what time is it, and then you tell us. Es la hora. Right, okay. De emails and tweets? No. <laughs> yeah, all right then. Just do the jingle. <laughs> from Kim in Nags Head, North Carolina. You ever been to North, you ever been to North Carolina there, uh, Chloe? Oh, see, Tar Heels, me gusta. <laughs> uh, hi, Craig and Jeff, probably means Chloe. People uh, never take their shoes off when they come to my house. Is it too obnoxious to put up a sign? Yes! <laughs> Who the hell do you think you are? Take your shoes off when you, I suppose you've got carpets. <laughs> Do you take your shoes off when you go into somebody's house there, uh, Chloe? Unless their house is a Japanese restaurant, no. <laughs> Do you remember that scene in that movie where the mafia guy, uh, uh, Donny Brasco, no, and he goes see. to the Japanese restaurant and he's wearing a wire in Donnie, his boot? In his boot. And he's oh. saying, oh, the intrigue. Yeah. Juani Depp. That, that's, that's Johnny Depp. He can make anything interesting. Oh, Juani Depp. Ex could make ex anything except the Rum Diaries interesting. Well, no. <laughs> Except the Rum Diaries and Chocolat. Oh, how do you pronounce that? What? How do you say that word? Chocolat. It's a French word for chocolate. Oh, okay. I did not. <laughs> those, those French are crazy. The oh, word. they are. They've got a border very close to Barcelona. Do you ever go up there to France? And, oh, uh, sometimes we kind of round up there. We go to the, uh, the see the Can Can. See the Can Can? <laughs> Uh, that right. <laughs> we get in a time machine and we go <laughs> see the can can. <laughs> yeah, all right. This is from Patrick in Reno, Nevada. You ever heard of Reno, Nevada? It's a very exciting town, just to the north. A lot of, a lot of good people live there. Take crystal meth. <laughs> yeah, there was, a, there was a TV show about it that was very defamatory. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was that Reno 9? Well, there was an actor on that used to wear yeah. shorts, so I didn't care for him. What was I don't like that guy. <laughs> I don't like that guy. I think he went missing. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I think happened. I think he went on a spree. <laughs> oh, he went on. Oh, he went on a crime spree. Well, just... sort of a crime spree. He he went on a on a sort of uh, dry humping spree. Dry humping spree. Yeah. Yes. He 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 was he started dry humping celebrities. He didn't know. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! I hope he got Dave Navarro. <laughs> That's the thing. That's what got him into trouble because Dave Navarro was so oiled up oh, that no. the actor who you wore the shorts, I can't remember his name, he no rubbed up can. against Dave no Navarro, can. flew off him and crashed into Dennis Rodman. Oh, it's a tragedy. But he was just a, he was a character actor. Who cares? Here's the interesting thing about him. He, he was a character actor, but he was handsome in an mm. odd way. <laughs> yeah, he could drop 15 pounds for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to say. <laughs> what was that letter about? Uh, it's from uh, Patrick, uh, who says, uh, Dear Craig, and Chloe actually says, Chloe, look, you're, you're getting your own mail now. Uh, Dear Craig, uh, I eat candy at work all day, and I'm too tired to cook a real dinner when I get home. Should I be concerned about my health, or does this fall under my youthful 20s? You ass. <laughs> You eat too much candy in your 20s? When I was in my 20s, I was doing Class A narcotics! <laughs> Not that 
I'm advocating that. That's a terrible way to live. I, it, it damn near killed me. <laughs> CBS cares. I think I just turned everything into a PSA there. Do you? Yeah, you did. Yeah? You did. Yeah, it's nice. The more you know. Would you ever do, what would you do a PSA for if they asked you? For me, probably about, be careful with your neckerchief. <laughs> Like, if you're leaning over to blow out some candles. Oh, yeah. It could catch fire. Yeah. Or, like, the famous dancer Isadora Duncan. My goodness. Who wore a big, long neckerchief, got in a convertible car, and got caught in the wheel and strangled her. Yes, they still have her head on display. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it was a terrible grisly end. Horrible. But yeah. we all still talk about it, so better to be talked about. <laughs> Didn't get any of that. <laughs> Something pa 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 la pa 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 la pa pa pa. Is that what you said? I pa, said pa, pa, I was quoting Oscar Wilde. I said it's better to be talked about. <laughs> but wait, Oscar Wilde was Irish. He wouldn't say talk like that. <laughs> That's the best Irish accent I can do. I don't know that. See, here's the thing about Oscar Wilde. I know what mm. you're thinking, Craig. When will you get back to Philip Larkin? In a while, but. <laughs> Oscar Wilde. Oh, he dipped his balls in clouds. Yeah, oh, he did. Yeah, 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 yeah. All the time. All the time. No, I think he dipped his in absence. That's what. Yeah. <laughs> say, wait, every time uh, you look up in Ireland, that's Oscar Wilde dipping his balls in a cloud. <laughs> that's what makes rainbows. That's what makes rainbows? <laughs> yeah, that's in Ireland. That, I did not. Yeah. That's what makes rainbows. It's Oscar Wilde dipping his balls in a cloud. That's you. That's Beautiful. That's right. That's right. Do you know what that makes me think? That makes me go. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> yeah, I know. I agree with you. What's that yeah. uh, Well, we've uh, completely out of time. I hope that's helped uh, anyone. Uh, yeah. uh, we'll be right back after these messages. What did we learn on the show tonight? Craig and And we're going to do after that cat singing yee ha is going to be a big anti climax, isn't it? He's, uh, this is anti climax part of the show. It's okay. You know, when you think about it, the whole show is kind of an anti climax, isn't it? Oh, don't say that. Don't say it, not so. It was a thrill a minute. I like you when you talk like that. I can't help it. It's the only way it comes out. Yeah. You know, it would be great to hear you. I, I don't know How why I'm... You, I'm doing, you? Yeah, I'm doing Transylvanian. Uh, that's <laughs> my... <laughs> it's not like you got a reboot. Uh, a what? A reboot. Oh, reboot. Yeah. Uh, I thought you said something rude. By the way, I'm working on impressions of other robots. <laughs> okay, let's hear it. What you got? Hey, I'm Artudito. <laughs> oh, that one that was in Buck Rogers. Beedle, beedle, Buck Rogers. Beedle, that one. Beedle, 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 beedle. Yeah. It's like we're there. Check out this one. Danger William Robinson. <laughs> I can't top that. Good night, everybody. I'm worried about my hair tonight. It's feeling very springy. Oh, no, no. Don't. Please, don't worry. You look amazing. Uh, I, I'm worried about it. This is a big show for me tonight. This is show 1,422. <laughs> wow. Wow. And they're really six to eight good ones in there. I think you'd be very kind. There was one, one or two good ones. Yeah, and then... one or two. Right out of the gate. <laughs> no, the, the first shows were very bad. Really? Let's go to a flashback of you doing it right now. Okay. Okay, here they Craig Ferguson. You never heard of this guy. He used to be Drew Carey's friend. Okay. All right. And then, and then I come out and I, and I go like this. Ho, ho, cheeky monkeys. <laughs> Oh, that's right. You used to say that. I used to say cheeky monkeys. Oh, cheeky always, monkeys. Right? Yeah. What happened to them? What I, happened to you? What I, happened to the little cheeky monkey inside of you? They died. Oh, no. Yeah, the cheeky monkeys, they got a little too cheeky one night, and I had to take care of them. Cheeky monkey, if you kill a grown up cheeky monkey, will rip your face off. It would, actually, yeah. yeah. You got monkeys to be... aren't cheeky at all. They're oh, no. dangerous. Oh, that's what they are. Yeah. Dangerous. You know, they're like bears. They look cuddly. You go up and try and hug them, and they go crazy. Right. That's why I don't go to those bars anymore. No, I don't. <laughs> they are adorable, though, with their plaid shirts oh, and beards. Plaid and their. 
Oh, the, the, all the lumberjacking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you hug them, you feel their hair crinkling in their back. <laughs> Whoa, that was really specific. <laughs> yeah. That was... Yeah, I, really, was, I really went to a very was, specific area. That was eerily specific. You're doing that singing thing again. Yeah, I can't help it, you know. It's exciting. <laughs> What's so exciting about it's, I'm not going to, I'm leaving the show for a while. You're leaving the show for a yeah, while? Yeah, that's right. Oh, yes, your regular yeah. personality is back tomorrow. Yes. I'm, go I'm going on tour as uh, I'm the understudy for Celine Dion. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's ridiculous. You don't look anything like a Canadian. <laughs> You'd be surprised. No, I... From, from the cheap seats, I kind of do. I say, like, A, and my heart goes out to you, A. No, it's my heart goes out, and you have to do, the, you have to do that thing, you know. Okay, I can watch. Me do it. Here, look. My heart goes out to you, A. Well, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, What do you think, Chloe? You think they, uh, they, they, that was uh, for aliens, the Stonehenge? Oh my goodness! I think it was. I think it was just like they was they was playing Jenga for giants. <laughs> that was a lot of work to get to Jenga for giants, right there, buddy. You know, I have an endorsement deal with them. I have to mention them in any orgy or druid sentence I say. <laughs> You have an endorsement deal with Jenga? <laughs> Maybe not after tonight, but yes. <laughs> hey, yeah. Did, did yeah, yeah. you notice? Did you notice yeah, my hair when I came out? I need, I should have been wearing a hat like you, and then my hair wouldn't have been so. I you know. thought you looked like if Alf Alpha grew up to be some old kind of sexy guy. <laughs> and they and they like the tales have called like Alf Night Alf Alpha of the Night. <laughs> No, I didn't get the last bit there. Did you get the last bit? Alfalfa you, of the you night. You know, like a show about alfalfa that runs on Cinemax. <laughs> like sexy alfalfa? Oh, that's right. Sexy that's, little rascal. That's all that rascal. If that rascal is not so little. <laughs> <laughs> You always like singing at the end to make things sexy, don't you? <laughs> Sometimes it makes something that does not work start to work. I know exactly what you mean. Si, <laughs> claro, si, <tí> claro. <sighs> ah, good times. Lisa's nice. Uh, I saw you looking at oh, her. Oh, she's all oh, delicioso, yes. No, she's not, actually. She's Irish. Oh, ah. that's the way I pronounce that. You, that's the way you know, pronounce Irish? Yes. Delicioso? I can't, I can't form the words in my mouth. Oh. <laughs> well, would you... Uh... This is the part where we come back in two and two dositos. If you're just joining us, we've had a terrible time so far. My hair went up, it went down. That's about it. <laughs> How's it now? Is it, it feels like it's staying put. Is it all right? Well, hang on, I'll just check my downstairs. <laughs> no, that's still flapping around. The erotic adventures of alfalfa. The erotic adventures of alfalfa. <laughs> Starring me. I'm going to talk like this for the rest of the show. We are going to make a mid-level fortune. That's absolutely right. Yeah. If I talk like this all the time... Is that different from how you normally do? Uh, I don't normally talk like this. I talk mostly like something a little different to this. I can't tell the difference. That's because you're a foreigner. <laughs> which means you're ghastly and unpleasant. Yes, I'm so uncouth. No, I didn't understand any of that. <laughs> what time is it, Chloe Banderas? It's time to do the emails and tweets. Exactly! So, how do the thing? Twitter, Twitter, tweeting, tweeting, ephemeral, ephemeral, bleeding. Jason tweets. 
Chance for Tweets. Chance for Tweets. Chance for Tweets. Und also E-Mails. And your E-Mails. All right, this is from Rita in uh, Kamloops in British Columbia. That's in Canada. You ever, you ever been up there? Uh, Oh, of course you're Canadian, aren't you? Uh, oh, claro que si. Cam Loops is a, oh, that's a magnificent part of where the bears go. Uh, Where's the guy with the crinkly hair under the shirt? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, it's when you hug the yeah, yeah. bears oh, and they feel the crinkly crinkle, hair. Crinkle, yeah. crinkle. <laughs> Look, if there's any consolation to you, I don't know what the okay. going on either. We'll get through it. Soon your cable will be repaired and we'll never have to see each other again. <laughs> Dear Craig and uh, Chloe Banderas, my ten-year-old son wants to take up ice hockey. Well, he's Canadian. Uh, as his mother, I'm concerned about concussions and broken teeth. How can I convince him to choose a safer sport? <laughs> you can't. That's all. Well, you can't persuade a 10-year-old Canadian boy that wants to play ice hockey not to play ice hockey. That's like the reverse of Billy Elliot. <laughs> right? That's right. Next thing you know, he turns to curling. Yeah, he turns to curling and then yeah. from... You know what? Curling's the gateway sport to heroin. Yeah. That's true. People, say they, they, they get the Speaking. curlings and they throw it in the ice and then they have to wait for a long time, so they turn to drugs. <laughs> They take heroin and then they go up and swim. The stone eventually comes up and they all go. <sighs> <laughs> heroin is the only way that curling makes sense. <laughs> That's not a very nice thing to say on St. Andrew's Day. <laughs> oh, but he's not. Who is the painter and saint of Canada? Um, Saint uh, Bob. Trick question. <laughs> Celine Dion. <laughs> Who is the saint? Celine Dion is the yeah. patron saint of yeah. Canada? I did not, I did not right. know that. Yeah. Only since like the mid 90s. <laughs> oh, right. No, probably when that big movie came out, when her heart went on. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Did you like that movie? Oh, my goodness gracious. I love a young, a yummy Leo DiCaprio. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I like. I, I liked her in that movie when she, they're in the car and they're having sex and she suddenly puts her hand on the car with the, the, in the window like that. What? Is this a feature film that was in theatres? <laughs> no, it's a video I rented. Anyway, look. This is from Donnie in Geneva in New York. You ever been to Geneva, New York? Or even Geneva, Switzerland? Oh, magnificent. All the tiny watches. <laughs> Dear Craig and Chloe Banderas, have you ever considered the big cash prize you offered to guests would seem even bigger if it were denominated in coins? Yeah, I thought about it. <laughs> it's a great idea. Let me write it down and then at the end of the show I'll burn it. Uh, this is from Greg in Salisbury in Maryland. You ever been to Salisbury uh, there in Maryland? Oh, yes. Come for the Salisbury, stay for the steak. <laughs> Personally, when I'm in Maryland, I go for the crabs. Ah. Uh, wait for it. Wait for it. In my pants. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, dear, dear Craig and Chloe Banderas, I'm studying for my SATs. I've been doing poorly on practice questions. What would be a good resource for me to enhance my vocabulary? Okay, go to at some point, uh, some place in your school, there might be a machine that looks something like a, like a kind of, sort of a little bit like this, uh, but a little bit larger and probably more modern with a screen on it. It's called a computer. And <clears throat> there's something on there, there's something on there called the internet, and you can look it up. That'll help you with the SATs right now. Oh, claro okay. que si. You can use the online thesaurus. Online what? The online thesaurus. <laughs> yeah, use that. The online ha ha ha. All right, this is from uh, Noah and uh, Salinas in uh, California, or Salinas. It might be Salinas, Salinas, I don't know, it's like Vagina, Vagina. I don't really know. <laughs> There's no Vagina. You don't say, oh, what a lovely Vagina. Mind you, you probably don't say, oh, what a lovely Vagina, either. Uh, you probably, you try not to mention it. I mean, you get to that point, the talking's done, I think, really. Yeah. Or, like, if you're meeting the Queen, you might say that. Oh, if 
you met the Queen, if you met the Queen at a nude beach and you went, well, good day to you, Your Majesty. And while I'm bowing, may I just say what a fabulous royal vagina you have. Why, good day to you. Thank you very much. It's been in the family for over five hundred years. It was originally put there by Elizabeth the First. Oh, we out of time? Oh, that's a shame. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> Do you ever think about getting stuffed before you came as a skeleton? That would have been so great if they could have mummified me. Yeah, that would have been so nice. Are you into taxidermy? No. Because I, I can get you Louis Anderson's foot. I know Louis a guy Anderson's who... using his feet. You can't have, you can't get Louis Anderson's feet. No, no, I know a guy who knows that guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you made yourself laugh there, didn't no, you? No, I was passing, I was passing wind. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna go back to your normal Jeff Peterson personality tomorrow for a couple of days, aren't you? Yeah, thank God I'm going. Um, the reboot is complete. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's been lovely having you here. Come back and join us soon, won't you? Thanks. Now I'm going to power down. Have you seen me power down before? <laughs> Let's say no. It goes like this. Power down. We so sexy alpha alpha. I love you. Yes, I, think, I think you're making this up as you go along. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. I'm really glad you're back, man. I'm glad to be back, man. Yeah, that's awesome. I, we, uh, Jeff, if, you, if you've been watching the show for the past couple of weeks, first of all, <laughs> sorry your cable doesn't work. And uh, <laughs> secondly, Jeff was going through a reboot where his personality was all mixed up, but you're back now. You're cured, right? I'm back. That's right. Yeah, I just want to say bulls. Yeah? <laughs> Like big balls. I, I just want to do a couple of personality checks on you just to make sure it's really you. Are you all ready? Right. All right. How do you feel in... Your bed. Yes, that's you. Good, good. So we're putting the old band back together then, back on the road. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's pretty exciting.